Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Resonance Arcade. Hi! Hello. It's Monday. Hello. Monday today, isn't it? We're, today yep. we're playing Metal Gear Solid uh, again. Part three? Yes. Part yes. three. Good, good. Well, I think last time we actually saved a state, so... Um, in fact, no, I saved an actual game, didn't I? So let's uh, just get straight into it. So, for a recap, what have we just done... We've just killed um, Liquid Snake in his Hind D helicopter, and we're on. A well, roof. you say killed. Oh, yeah. shush, 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 shush. <laughs> Spoilers. He's Snake. not dead. <laughs> That's not a spoiler, though, is it? Because you don't kill any boss in this game apart from. Uh, no. Psycho Mantis uh, was Psycho killed Mantis. the first time around. Yeah. I can't remember yeah. if we watched this. Um... Psychic Mantis. Snake. Or, or this codec go. I think we might. I think we did. No. That's the weird thing. Yeah, we did. We did definitely watch it. It's headed your way now. Is that yeah, so there was an issue, wasn't there, with the with the lift? Um, there was the weight was warning went off, and then it wouldn't work, and you couldn't use it, and now it's working again. Mm. Mm. Ugh, it's all a bit fishy. Who fixed the uh, problem with the lift? Well, when you get in the lift, you kind of find out why. Was there something really heavy in the lift? Okay. Possibly. Yes. Really heavy is a metaphorical, like, I know, I know. You don't have to it was a really yeah, funny was, situation. <laughs> yeah, there was just, there was like a philosophy book in there, it was like really deep. Oh. <laughs> right then. Alright, and back down the tower we go. Oh, dude. Can I not go in there? It's not on the right no, way No, go. no, go back in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then go down to the ladder, but not like to the to the side of it, not to the side, to the front of it. Oh, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, that's a great camera angle, isn't it? I bet there's been people stuck there for years. <laughs> Just running around the rooftop, going, "Why? Why?" Well, God, most, that's a sort of point in the game would, where uh, I was going to say most people would think to just go around the side of the ladder. Would they? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, I did. If you weren't an expert at this game. Which Sam is, of course. No I don't think. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. I think it's. I think the cameras are still active. You know those cameras that were all on the walls. Oh, but other than that, I, yeah, just chaff them up, chafe them, <laughs> yeah, give them a bit of chaffage. <laughs> I think they're still active. <laughs> So Sam, what other games has um, Kojima done? Because I only really know about this. Well, and the, about obviously the, the, the series. Yeah, again, this is probably the game that, that most people know him for. He's not done anything else that's been anywhere near as successful. The, the other game series that he's done that was that was him, as in he was like the you know the director, was the Zone of the Enders series, which is a PS2 series. Um, and from what I know of it, it was basically mechs in space sort of game. You know, like okay. big, big, big Japanese mechs fighting sort of game. As they do. Uh, he, yeah, well, he, he obviously he's worked for Konami for his whole career, so he has been involved in the Castlevania series. Right, like he okay. was, he, he was one of the producers on Lords of Shadow, I think. And Police Notes, I think. He, he Police Notes, that. yeah, which is referenced in this game, which I think is a PlayStation One game. But I've never seen that in any shops in England. Like I've never. No, I don't know if it's even an international release. If it was just a Japanese game, and some other ones that, um, yeah, not, not that well known. He's kind of been tied to it. Like he's tried to leave Metal Gear a couple of times. That's what and he keeps when he's, saying. He loves it. But he keeps saying, but then when he sees the development team making the new Metal Gear, and he's not happy with it. He goes, "No, out, just let me do it." And he comes in and <laughs> takes over again. So the weight warning oh. just went off there, and you're like, huh? Why is the weight warning going off? There's only one man on this lift, right? I mean, come and on. I don't weigh that much. Yeah, surely. He it's just let me go, over. though. Well, the weight warning, it's not saying it's, you know, it's on the cusp of the weight warning. Snake, there's something I forgot to tell you before. That guy has a stupid what? face. <laughs> it's amazing how we keep getting reception in places like this. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the future, so... Well, it's not the future anymore. This game's now set in the past, but it was the future <laughs> when it was originally released. <laughs> it was when was it set? So um, ah, God, and... I think this is set yeah. in, in like the 2005, something like that. There is a whole like continuity where I think Metal Gear Solid 4 really 
was kind of not that far in the future from when it was released in 2008. I think it was meant to be like 2015 or something. So it's kind of weird. Like the Metal Gear games are always just a few years ahead of when they're released, not ridiculously far ahead. So basically, Codex a bit, whatever you can get reception anywhere. It's four G. Yeah. Here we go. Six hundred fifty pounds. Oh, I think this is where Otacon starts. <laughs> yeah, there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, they've got these guys have stolen some of those stealth camo that Otacon's got on the in the lift. Now the best way to kill these guys, Chris, is just to equip you your weapon and just choke them out. It's faster than shooting them, trust me. So just go up. If you use square, when you have to be not moving though, so you have to go up to them, stand still, then press square, and then just throttle them. That's like the most murder I've ever heard of. Shit off. Oh. Unless they do that. It's just keep tapping bang, it. Bang. Yeah, he's dead. No. See, look at Chris and his leak skills. Uh, you, what is it about you and the thermal goggles? <laughs> you just what? They've got oh, stealth. Come on, give me a break. Can you still oh, see? Oh yeah, him? I forgot. Never Sorry, I forgot. Are you? <laughs> oh shit! I was just put on the floor. <laughs> So, He's like watching a really bad line dance. So yeah, remember how I mentioned earlier how you can, from Metal Gear Solid oh. 2 onwards, you, you can play through the games without killing anybody. This is one of the situations where you have to kill people. Hmm. Like you have to kill these guys. You can't can you not throw not like a stun it. grenade or something? Probably, but it'll stun um, me. No, oh. it, I think you have to... Uh, I'm pretty sure you have to kill them because oh, you can't what? knock them unconscious. I have to go down the fucking stairs again. <laughs> Down the stairs! No! <laughs> Press F1 at the bottom then. Also, who runs downstairs that fast? Snake. Today, today I tried oh, to snake. descend the stairs where I work as quickly as possible. Oh, you're holding a chafe grenade as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wait until you well, get to Metal Gear Solid 2 when you play as Raiden. You can literally cartwheel down an entire flight <laughs> yeah. of stairs in one move. Awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> I love you his can't do it when you play Snake. If you do that as Snake and you just a roll, he just goes bleh, bleh, and like falls down the stairs, <laughs> as as he should. But Raiden just cartwheels right down him. It's mint. It's easier coming down because you can at least see them, can't you? You, you don't feel yeah. in the slightest bit manly when you try and descend stairs really fast. It just doesn't work. You you just gotta you gotta kind of go into this this mincing sort of Not wiggle when down you the do. stairs. <laughs> not when you run down the stairs, two stairs at a time. You're just like not I committing, do. Blue. <laughs> if I commit, I'm going to go, I'm going to cartwheel, but unintentionally. That's a thing, you have to commit to the stairs if you want to go down them fast. <laughs> or up. There's a scene at the, fend uh, at the end of the first uh, Lord of the Rings movie where, you know, where well, the orcs are running down the hill, yeah. chasing yeah. the hobbits. Um, and there's a, it, it, Peter Jackson himself points it out in the commentary, but there's one orc going down the stairs really gingerly. Like they're all running and screaming, <laughs> yeah, and there's one orc kind of walking down the stairs. Yeah, looking really. down. He's yeah, it's like, oh. <laughs> He's Even probably orcs. not very comfy in his, uh, in his orc outfit. In, in his eight inches of rubber on his face. Yeah, yeah. Probably can't see where he's going. <laughs> Could you put the gas mask on, then throw a stun grenade? Maybe. I don't think, I just don't think that you, you can stun them into submission. I think you have to kill them. Yeah, but if you it's stun the same them, you as that. Kill them down, can't you? Uh, no, you, can, well, you can't aim like with your gun down. You can't aim to the floor. Watch his face. His face is coming, that is. <laughs> you can still see them enough, I think. Yeah, I think. Oh, God, everything just went really, really laggy. Did a bit, didn't it? He's going to shoot him this time. Fuck okay. it. But yeah, probably shooting them is that you shoot them a couple of times and then they fall over and then they get back up again. So like, those guys that have fallen over are not dead, whereas the choking out one, he, when you choke it out and break his neck, you know he's down the count, basically. That's <laughs> why. I kicked him across the room. Oh, it's gone really, really laggy. Like, like uncontrollably so. And I have no idea why. Yeah, right, it just this, seems this to death does like not count. Do you want to just F1 it and do it again? I Pretty did cool. F1 it just before. 20. No, I'm not Sorry, dead. I yet. You're, it. you're on a floor covered in blood. I'm not dead. I've got fucking loads of health, so shut up. 
Oh, he's getting mad at this game. He's getting mad. VH multi writer extension. What the fuck are you doing? VH multi writer. What the hell is that? I don't know. Something for multi writing VHs? Oh, I bet you. I want to stab it. <laughs> yep, I bet you yeah, Windows 8 has started maintenance. I could stop <laughs> maintenance before as well. Change maintenance settings. Where's the fuck off button? I've <laughs> scheduled maintenance to wake up my computer. Right, you've got no option to not run scheduled maintenance. <clears throat> really? That's terrible. Can you turn it off? You can stop it, but it'll just start again because it's not reading... That When you run the emulator, it doesn't read any Windows settings, so... Uh, and now for a glimpse into Chris's PC. God damn it, I hate these things. Right, I'll just leave it open and keep stopping it if it happens again. Right, sorry about this, guys. <clears throat> right, now I'm going to kill him. Go! Why is it? Alright. Oh, I didn't know it alert before. It is, yeah. Are we still doing it? It's really, really laggy. What? Why? A few of the forums reckon that's part of uh, what XSplit uses to decode videos. Or to encode videos, sorry. Right, well that would make sense why that's using so much. Oh god. Let's try again. Uh... You don't have the window anymore. I don't, anyway. I don't. Oh, I'll sort that out after this. It's actually working all right now. <laughs> it's working all right when we can. Cheating. Yeah. Oh bollocks. Let's just assume that he's that he's holding them all. Yeah, I'm nearly gone. He's choking eight at once. And he's only twenty-four <laughs> in the room. Uh, in fact, the stream hasn't got the thing on either. Oh my god. This doesn't make for compelling. <laughs> and you've gone sideways, Chris. <laughs> this is Skype. It's Skype is horrible. I hate it. <laughs> Do you think there's people who tune in specifically for our technical issues? I'm getting bored of them now. I hope so. <laughs> you hope so? Because that's all again. <laughs> I just mean, it, you know, the outside is probably really comical. I don't think there's that much comedy in this amount of ineptitude, to be honest, but... It's not funny. It's funny because there shouldn't be that amount, well, this amount of ineptitude. <laughs> it's not, it's not me. That's the problem. It's usually the fucking computer. Hang on, I tell everyone else off for blaming the computer whenever they go, It's a computer, it wouldn't let me do it. <clears throat> I reckon years of overclocking have uh, degraded your CPU. Nothing to do with that. Shut your face. <laughs> Electron migration, mate. Right. His hysteresis. That's the right word, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Stand still, you little monkey. Is he the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. He's done you though. Stood inside him. Bastard. It's always the best tactic right. when you. There you go. It's fine. Stand inside the other person and they can't hit you. I don't know what happened then and why it just suddenly started happening as soon as I started fighting. <sighs> yeah, well. Hopefully that's the last of that issue. Fingers crossed. Yes. I don't think it'd be <clears throat> Resident Arcade if it didn't have a different issue each time. If it wasn't yeah. yellow clouds over people or... It's like a tradition now, I think. I think we've had enough episodes that it's become a tradition. Yeah. <laughs> Not funny. It knows! It knows! Hang on. So, is there anything out here, then? Oh, we've got someone called uh, Big Boss. Oh. Big Boss SNK. Hello. Chat. Well, hello, Metal Gear fan. Don't think that I'm say, very good at this, by the way. I was going to say that, that he'll be a Metal Gear Solid fan if he's called Big Boss. <laughs> but SNK as well, so he likes he likes um <sighs> let me think of an SS SNK game. Also I don't have played any of them. Drag. Metal Gear <laughs> I'll Solid think of any. Kriegasm. Kriegasm? Kriegasm. Don't get that. 
Neither do I. I'm not very good at this game. King All of Fighters. There you go. I think I might have played that in the arcade, actually. Yeah. Metal Slug. Oh, I got you anyway. Is that SNK? I think it is. Pretty sure it is. Just, it's just a chafe after chafe after chafe. Which is how I'm pronouncing it now. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> This is, I think this room, or at least it's coming up, there's one memory I had of, of this game in particular. Oh no, not even a room. This was like, this is when the I outside. first played this game. <laughs> I think when I first played this, this was like the hardest boss for me the first time round. Yeah. But we're going to oh, just basically, that, we're going to basically cheat it. We're going to do the easy route. There is an easy method to do it. It's another sniper battle, but she keeps moving and you have to move as well. Except you don't when you just use the remote control missile launcher on her. Oh. Shot. <laughs> Sorry, that, that was meant to happen. Yeah, that is uh, inevitable. That, that That's how you start doing? the fight. She obviously doesn't have any dyers okay? of does she? She's too cool to need it, man. No, there were only five. She got addicted so, and now she has to go cold turkey. Yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Someone's aiming at that's me. why she's so angry. This blizzard. <laughs> yes. Wolf? Sniper wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. I like it how they sort of say she's aiming at you even in this blizzard, but it's like the draw distance is so poor that it's basically just black beyond, you know, about 20 feet. Yeah. Please don't kill her. Please don't kill her. Oh, he loves her. He does. If you've if you been listening, you'd already know that. God. I did, I did know that. But I wanted to be dramatic about it. I like the whole soul. She's a good person. It's like, what? at what point has she displayed that yeah. ever? She she shot Meryl like five times, but probably one would have done, you know. And like, yeah, that's about it. She's not done anything else apart from walk around and just say she's going to kill people and stuff. She looks evil as well, but she might just be drawn that way. Apart from we've already killed you once. Fucking gloat at me when I've already beaten you. Yeah. I hear when the protagonists do that. Antagonist. Antagonist. Sorry. Well, I'm going to send you a yeah, it's annoying. <coughs> yeah, you beat them once, you know and they just keep coming back. Oh, oh anyway, it gets me quite frustrated. Yeah, this time I will be victorious. All right, then. you got lucky. Now I'm gonna pay you back for yeah. Meryl. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I got lucky. Okay, Meryl. I've killed you for twenty times, and each time you said that. You Man, you can never finish what you start. Okay, so leg it to the right-hand side of this whole area. This is your, that's your safe spot. Because if you see over here, if you're looking first person mode, I would go right into that corner, mate. Yeah, you're basically behind there, so she can't hit you. So if you face to the if you face to the left and equip your Nikita missile launcher, which I believe you have to be stood up to use. <coughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, and then just kill her with that. Right. Fire one off. Um... Get it in first person mode and go and find her with it. Cause she, she, she can't hit you. She just she can't she, hit you. She just had a target on me. She can't hit you. I better just stand me. here, she can. Yeah, right. she can. Oh, well, don't stand there then. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> um... <laughs> I love that thing. Oh, there she is. Not exactly that hard, is, does... is she? It's does it uh, rain or something? Does it, is it going to go up? I think it does. Uh, oh, I was going to say it does. It it does, but it on only on certain gradients. Um, so I need to go up, kind of here. Yeah, just sort of yeah, go up one of these bits and then follow around. Does it it is a bit of a stuff? more laborious way to, of killing her, but it is much much safer. And this is quite a hard sniper fight unless you're like really good with the sniping skills. It's a missile in your ankles. So you yeah. have to fire about ten of those, aren't you? Yeah, but it would take as many sniper shots as well. Yeah, the Metal Gear games do conform to the uh, bosses have lots of health thing. Although, it, again, in later games, when you get if you can get headshots and stuff, that actually takes a lot more health off, as it should. Like I think on Metal Gear Solid 2, if you get like you know, it only takes about four headshots with a tranquilizer to, to kill pretty much any boss. 
in that game. She's not moving. She's getting those headshots. She is. really hard. She's to moved do. position now. Yeah, she, she keeps blowing changing the fires trees. Off. So yeah, for anybody who's not played Metal Gear, this is the uh, the easiest way to beat this boss. Some would say it's cheaty way. Mm. It, yeah, well, Cheat. whatever. Yeah, well, oh, yeah, whatever. the game. Yeah, exactly. We're not going to use the Nikita at all <laughs> for the rest of the game, so... It's what useful against them. Um, it? Apart from that first point, not really, but you can use it against Raven as well. Although, mm. personally, I find the, the Stinger missile launchers better in that fight. Oh, that's just me. Hate Raven. Raven's a bit of a bastard, yeah. He's coming up fairly soon. <laughs> the bar at the top left, is that basically self-destruct when it runs out? I think, I don't know if it self-destructs, I think it's the fuel, yeah. Um, right. It probably does self-destruct, it would make sense, wouldn't it? I can't remember. It'd be slightly more useful than just falling to the ground. Yeah, probably. And you should be able to go pick it up and refuel it. That would be nice. <laughs> But it's not gonna happen. And then just starts flying with it in your hands. Yeah, it's quite weird watching this fight because I have quite um, a good memory of what this area is like in Metal Gear Solid Four. Yeah. It's about ten times the size. And this it whole is. Bit. Well, yeah, it is. You're right, and it's at that whole moment of find. You know, going to Shadow Moses Island is just. It's just one of them hair-raising moments as a proper fan. Yeah. Boy. It's like, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Yeah, it was really cool. There's almost one of those moments in Ground Zeroes, you know. Ooh. Feels there she goes. Good. I mean, it's, it is a fat, just a pure fanboy service, um, Ground Zeroes. All that particular bit I'm talking about. But Is it, is it one of the missions? Because I know there's a mission. There's a number a of missions, yeah. It's the operative mission um, that's yeah. got a, a good bit. I won't say any more than that. Yeah, I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. I'd lend you it, but no. I'm going to... Um... What I've been once I've got myself a car sorted, a PS4, probably a PS4, if is the next big purchase on my agenda. I keep seeing a lot of stuff about Destiny. Um, and it kind of makes me want to try it, but it also kind of uh, makes me want to not try on it. console, man. Yeah, it's coming out on PC apparently. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Wait I for thought, it then. I thought it was already out on PC. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um. It basically looks like it's very nice looking and apparently it, sh it controls very well, but it is like go to a room, fight off three rows of enemies and go to another room and do that for hours and hours. The only difference is you can play it with loads of players online. I think that's the that's the draw of it. Yeah. So apparently the, the actual story and things and all that, anything like that and the purpose of the playing it is just all nonsense. It's a shame because Bungie normally do quite well with the... Uh... The kind of world and the story and stuff. Well, maybe not the story so much. <laughs> Let's not get into that argument again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Wouldn't she's you got a really good these, story uh, and then put it in the game. Yeah, she's got one of these. Uh, she's got the story that's like quite normal. All the Metal Gear Solid bosses are all like, "Oh, I was born on the battlefield," but they're all like that. Basically, they've all had burned down my village. Yeah, there's always something to do with the village being burned down or a town or like the family all get killed. Or they kill they're always the they're always really they're always really tragic. There's always like yeah, you know, it, war came in and then I had to go and be a soldier myself. And war is all I know. And well, that's kind of a snake stuff. story as well, though, isn't it? A little bit to an yeah. extent. Well, yeah, there's a bit more to his story than that, isn't there? Yeah, but it, in a way, it's sort of a little bit, I guess. The governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. Uh, Difficult to know what to say over these sections when it's just someone talking. Especially when we can't hear it as well. Make a door off. So are we going to say that, Steve? I just said we could do our own voiceover for it. <laughs> we could do, but for the, for the poor buggers in the stream, that would be really confusing because they, they can hear it and, and it's also and us be, saying it as well. Yeah, and it would be half a second behind as well, so it'd be really Yeah, weird. yeah. It'd make it like some dodgy foreign film. It sounds like some dodgy foreign film, honestly. The music is very, it's very like... Um... See, there could be like the typical French Paris music playing now. Like... Hang on. <laughs> That's probably going to really confuse the stream as well, sorry. I didn't hear anything there. I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything. It's like... Na, 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 
Can she just hurry up and die? Stop! <laughs> All right, Chris, that's really <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, she's Chains dead. If she's... Chainsaws could sing. At least my natural voice doesn't <laughs> sound exactly like that, Lou. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she like that. She's like them apples. In a pie. Good job you love me. Go on, Sam. I was going to say, she's just taking a long time to die, isn't she? They all do. <laughs> Fucking hell, mate. Wolves and dead, noble dead. In Metal Gear Solid 4, there's, there's a bit yeah. of one death. In fact, nearly everybody takes this long or longer. Word for word. Yeah, but there's one death you know. right at the end the that takes... Oh. Isn't it an hour and it 80... Eight hour and hour and 80 minutes, not bad. <laughs> uh, something like yeah. an hour and 20 minutes or something, or two hours, the cutscene. What? This... Bollocks. Hello, Kevlar, 1983, how you doing, matey? Solitary. As you can see, we just killed Sniper Wolf. You're a wolf. Uh, with the right. Nikita missile launcher. As uh, are you Saladin? anyone who's played through this game a few times should probably know. You spared Meryl's mm. life. You can t keep talking, guys, you know. I didn't mean to. I was just saying hello to someone who said hello to us. I don't want him. Oh, you don't want, right. him. don't want to be social. Yeah. Screw you. You'll die as the proud wolf. I just want this bitch to die so you can get on killing people or being That's killed so by people. Which is fine. Sorry. <laughs> there's, there's more yet. You, can't, you don't think that uh, that the object of Otacon's affections is going to go without him coming over and crying over her for a few minutes first. So yeah. yeah can, you, can you do that off camera so we can go and kill people? <laughs> it's just like nope. unskippable. It probably can be skipped, but I'm not skipping it. Why? <laughs> Because it's annoying you two, and I'm giving you the full Metal Gear Solid experience here. We can. Yeah. You really think, though? To me, it's completely lost. He, he could have been sat down there farting for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> here he goes. Here he is. Oh, no! it's a shape. It's... Whatever this guy's like got a, dra a skirt on. Look at him. Is it uh, Christopher Wait. Randolph, the voice actor who does Autocar? I think that's his name. His, like, crying in the Metal Gear games. It's like, <laughs> oh, it makes you want to kill puppies. It's so annoying. <laughs> I can't. Oh God! Yeah. What's he doing now? He's giving What's her a sniper her? rifle. I thought he was sticking it between the legs there. Here you go. Die with the sniper rifle. Is a sniper part of it. <laughs> oh, the wolves are going off in the background. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, when she dies, like all the wolves go totally mental. There's just howling and because she's sniper wolf, so therefore she's like <laughs> one of the wolves. Her yeah. In the face. Love it. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't. <gasps> that was a gunshot, by the way. The fit dip to white. Yeah. Because this game is tasteful. Snake. Yeah. You you just strangled four invisible guys in a lift. <laughs> it's it's not tasteful. It's artistic. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. It's artistic. What are you doing? It's cinematic, as we like to say. But, yeah. <laughs> I, I could have used that anchor chief. That's our anchor chief. Oh, right. Ah, you don't need it. You're never coming back to this area anyway. No, I'll stamp on her on the way out as well. Why not, eh? <laughs> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to this wasn't emotional to me at all when I saw this because I was like, I've just yeah. killed her because she's trying to shoot me. Here. And she was so annoying as well. Hell. She killed yeah, me yeah. so many times yeah. the first time I played this. We might not meet again. Yeah, I think um, it's a couple of times that happens in Metal Gear where they where they have like a big emotional scene for a character that like you just don't care about. You just like, uh, can we skip this, please? Can we just? Well, I've, uh. I've, I completed. Um, I, can I just say that he just said uh, Snake just said to him, "We might not meet again, apart from every game mm. from now on." Yeah, but <laughs> you know, it's not. He can't. It's not psychomantis. He can't see it in the future. Snake. 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 This is a cool bit though. What are we fighting for? Fighting for? Raju, again, totally lost when you can't hear it. If we make it through this, I'll tell you. If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Doesn't mean anything. It's just one of those cool, badass so, walking away moments. After the motorcycle <laughs> bit. Okay. I'll tell you after the motorcycle bit. Yeah. What would you say then, Luce, right? I, I, it just doesn't make sense that like after we fought everyone, then I'll tell you why we fought them. Yeah, I don't think he tells him anyway, does he? Oh no, I bet he does. There's all kinds of stuff, right? So, I guess you want to 
check mm. all the rooms around it. Do you want to just because that's where you go to yeah, go to this too, but then you'll see there's a few rooms around here with bits oh, and supplies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's chafe it. These chafe grenades are getting full usage in this playthrough, and they're going to get more because there's more cameras ahead. Yeah, I said the room that I was talking about is coming up. I actually got Nikita Nik Nik Nikita missiles. Nikita T-shirts. Ooh. Go on then, chuck it. It would have been mint if you chucked it just as the door closed, but actually, it wouldn't make a difference. No, it it's still funny. Ooh. Oh, another cardboard box. All I need now is a big fish. To Snowfield. Ah, you see. Have I, did oh, I miss it or something? Yeah, I think we missed it because that's that's the whole thing about the, uh, the the wolf dog's weed on it, sort of yeah. Easter egg, which we had to pick it up early. I'm not sure where we missed it from, but we missed it. It's my fault, obviously. Yeah, because I'm I'm basically void in the brain department. <laughs> Just bullets, 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 bullets. Last one, yeah, there's I believe. A... I think so, yeah. There's another... Oh, Whoa! I forgot about them. I knew there was somewhere. It's got mines in there, just for extra fun Why? times. Why would you put mines in a storehouse? Because like, it's a computer mines. game. Why would you ever have the camera <laughs> as close as it is right now as well? Yeah. You need some chair grenades. Oh, right. well, I'll tell you what. Nice. Wait, he's um, just crawling backwards. Like a ninja. I think we're done, aren't we? Real people can't crawl backwards, I mean, Yeah, I think so. Oh, I thought that was a dude then. I was about to go and beat him up. Oh, no, there is there's, there's door. That's Yeah, there's a level 7 door, but you, I, can't, I don't think there's anything in there that's worth coming back for. <laughs> you get a level 7 card a bit later, but it's like, ah, just, just go forward. I don't think there's anything in there. Maybe another cardboard box or some more rations or something. Ah, uh, you can crawl under these crates there, not bother using your chaff grenades if you want. I will do that because I've got next to none left. I think you might still get shot when you come out, possibly. I, I, I'm sure you can. Oh. I don't know what you want to do. Just worst, leg it. Worst hidey place ever again. Leg it, leg it to disc two world. This is where it is. Yeah, but disc two is a lot, lot shorter. But uh, I think it's mainly because of the Metal Gear stuff in it. It's so big. Uh, it's not. It's quite near the end of the game now. By the time you get to disc two, so there's only no. two discs in the game. Yeah. Yeah. They were the worst CDs though. Which they were. They were the um, six hundred and forty the... mega something. Seven hundred. There, there were special. Slightly extended CDs, I not remember. Change disc, Ooh. I saw. Oh! Oh my god. That was easy. Oh my god! That worked way too easily. Well, we've lost the screen. Yeah, yeah because it's, it's it. black. Oh, hang on, you've actually lost the screen as well, haven't you? And so's the stream. Sorry, hey. that's actually because I closed it down. So it didn't go easily at all. Uh. No, no, it went easy enough, as close It went well, but Chris found other ways to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's never me. It's never my fault. I do need to fucking get this screen thing up again, though. Unfortunately, I'm having to actually capture a screen region for the stream, so that's why I'm, I'm having to reset it every time. Well, I'm nearly there. So what's coming up, Sam? So we're going to enter to the... There's a big sort of smelting room, um, which is very hot, and then it's a big... It's one of those lifts, um, and the only place I've seen one like it... Has anyone seen the film Akira? Yep. Yeah. There's a bit where they go on the lift down to that secret facility, and it's like a really big <laughs> lift that goes down sort of... Uh, yeah, it like goes mean, down yeah, diagonally. 
like the Half Life lift. Yeah, it's one of them. You go into one of them in this game, um, and, the, and you uh, get attacked the, again. The Inclinator in um, Deus Ex um, Two. I haven't played it. But I'll take you and, for it. And um, yeah, a lot of games have it. Yeah, the, the big, the big uh, diagonal lift. Yeah, big diagonal lift. That's after this room. So, I believe in this room it, again. It's like the stuff you can pick up. Yeah. But I don't know at this point in the game how much of it you actually need, or if it's worth just going to the, to the next area. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You've got Mr. Radiation Guard there. I would just leg it out of this room and come back. Can I do that? You're ready. Probably your best bet. Yeah. Ah, so this is the bit where you have to do the old... You have to sort of slide along, along the wall. Um, yeah. I remember this from Metal Gear Solid 4 again, actually. Just had insane flashbacks going in on there. In fact, from what I remember, you have to you have to damage this... If you... Da if you... I think you can damage that crane, and therefore you don't have to worry about it moving anymore. I think you can use a Stinger missile launcher on it or something. How pretty that is! It's a nice looking level, actually. It's a bit. It's nice to see a change from the uh, kind of Arctic yeah. military base. Didn't need that anyway. <laughs> so yeah, you can go across here and then duck when it moves, or I think you can just shoot it with a Stinger missile, and it will damage it, I believe. But I think it might alert the guards too, so there is that. Yeah, consider. firing a missile at something. There is a way to get down, though, isn't there? Excuse me. No, I don't think. I don't know if the, if that'll set off an alert as in a brrrr alert. I think it might just set them into caution mode for a few seconds. What? What are you doing there? This is, this is not the area for a sniper rifle, is it? Are you trying to shoot that guard? Yeah. Okay. Can't shoot down, can you? Not from the day. Right, so how the hell do you get over then? Without oh, firing you, some iron? You, you just go, you go over, oh, because uh, it, it moves periodically. So you have to duck when it moves towards you. How, wow, how is that working? What, to, to duck down and not fall off, you mean? Yeah, look at that! <laughs> <laughs> magic! <laughs> hey, he's, he's just been ninja. trained. He's been trained for years in how to. In to into uh, <laughs> ledge crane evasive maneuvers. <laughs> tactical, <laughs> oh, tactical crane action. Just imagine you've got yeah. a cramp right now. Uh, you can't you can duck and <laughs> shimmy like you can in uh, Metal no. Gear Solid 4 either. Shimmy. No, indeed. Yeah, I believe these metal gratings here have the sort of loud footsteps so the guards will hear you more easily as well. <laughs> <laughs> to just crawl. That's why, that's why they call him Snake, obviously. <laughs> well, they, again, they say that face. earlier. Oh. What you should crawl on the belly like a snake, you are. I think Raven says that to you in that first Raven fight. I bet he was really proud of that. I bet he went over well, that quick. He got it straight from Arnie. <laughs> <laughs> Stick yeah, on out. Like, yeah, I was say, you should say this to him. It will blow his mind. <laughs> <laughs> that was a perfect Arnie impression. Oh man, I've had a lot of practice with that impression. <laughs> More than I care to admit to, probably. Apart from you just admitted to it. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah. What's the guard doing? He's just he guarding. There. He was just spinning on the spot. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I can't shoot while in like that, can I? No, you can't first person aim now. Fucking hell, how hard is this game? There's so, there's so, like, it's weird how many, how much more control you get over Snake in, like, Metal Gear 2 mm. and 3 and onwards. In this one, it's quite around. restricted. Just leg it. It might hear your footsteps. Oh, you decided to go right up to him for some reason. You can stamp on him. <laughs> What's going on there? That looks dirty. Oh my god. Punch, <laughs> punch him, not the air. Oh, god. Killed him? 
I've killed loads of people already. I've given up oh, carrying. I don't now. really. Oh yeah, it's if you get guards down here, you can throw them into the smelting like thing, and it's really grim. Oh really? <laughs> Fuck. Oh, you gotta do that, Chris. Come on. Get someone into the lava. Ah, oh, I thought of another Easter egg. Yes. There you go. There we go. I thought of another Easter egg that we missed. When you're in the bit where Sniper Wolf is, if you look up to the right, you can see a parachute there. And then there's a little codec call that talk about liquid escaping from the helicopter and things like, no way, it's impossible. And it's like, well, he did it. Helicopter? Oh shit, I mean, I'm going there. This is the steam room. This is where you want it. That, this is where you come back to when you want to heat the PAL key, but you don't really need to get anything from here right now, I don't think. So, in terms. What, what is this room. What is this part of the facility meant to be doing? Because it looks like the melting steel. Yeah. Um, I don't really know. I guess that's like because it's supposed to be a nuclear disposal facility, so I'm guessing it's for like breaking. It, well, allegedly it's for you know dismantling nuclear warheads and things like that. So I, I would guess that they just melt down the steel and reconstitute it into other things. Right. Okay. They recycle it. I, I'm kind of. That's a, they've they've melted a lot of warheads to fill an entire building with molten steel. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's been watching. Oh mate. Uh, Terminator Two, haven't there? I try to rationalise it a bit, but it's basically, it's like a. Oh, have you seen Galaxy? Have you seen Galaxy Quest when they go in that room with all the like slamming down things and they're like, "What purpose does this serve on the ship?" It's yeah. basically that kind of place, but it's like they put it there because they wanted to, not because it makes sense in Fair this enough. world. Just because I needed a lava level, even though it's not really yeah. lava. Yeah, you can fall into it as well. I think if you yeah, just you run can. straight off the edge, like I like, probably will at some point. I was expecting yeah. Chris to do it just before. I was ready to mark up one of Chris's deaths to oh. steal. That, but that, I don't, I don't. Yep. Hang on, have I only died once on this so far? Yep. Good. I thought you yeah. put down that other one because I didn't actually die, did I? I removed it again. I did add it, but. Uh... Oh, you bastard. Ugh. There's no need for that. That's just hostile. What? The controls for the lift are on there. I don't know which side they were actually. Oh, I'm getting all the shit. Or is it? Or is it just? Is it just coming up? Or yeah, it comes up on its own. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a big inclinator. Do these things yeah. exist in real life, Steve? Yeah. You know. I don't know. In my evil I layer, I've got one or two. I was gonna say, I, I hope they do because they just look cool. They seem overly elaborate, though, don't they? Just to go down. Wouldn't a yeah. straight down elevator make more sense? I don't. They can take a lot more weight than a straight I, down elevator. I guess because uh, right. some of the weight to the, the the floor, isn't it? Uh, maybe. But you do see that it's almost a gaming trope, this this thing. There's one in Half-Life, there's one in Deuce X2, there's one in this. I'm sure there are ones in other games as well. Because the one in Half-Life is you're going down, the head crabs start to come from the top yeah. and fly off yeah. the edge. Most um, most fighting games at some point have something oh. like this as well. Yeah, it's one of the ones. Uh, this is one of them, again, if you can get them, you can throw these guys off the edge at certain points if you get... The, the positioning right, but again, it's a bit tricky. I live for moments like that in games. There's a game called Renegade where you could, um, you were fighting in a subway and you could throw people onto the tracks and get squished by a train. Brilliant. <laughs> Remember Star Gladiator as well? Yeah, yeah. Well, that had uh, a. Uh, yes, it did, but it was not Just a. It, it wasn't an inkling there, though. It was a. Well, it went in loads of directions, didn't it? It kind of like moved off in the oh, side. Oh shit, and... yes it did, yeah. That was a great fighting game, that. It was just for that one level. Good characters as well, though. It was just a rip off of Star Wars, wasn't it? Well, Star Wars mixed with Street Fighter, wasn't it? Yeah. Yay, off the edge. There you Yay. go. Wasn't the music on that level quite good as well? Music was, it was music on the launch pad stage. Hayato's uh, launch pad stage was brilliant. That's another. Hey, hey. Bosh. That was the... Uh... The elite technique that I think. All three, yeah. <laughs> all three of them off the end. Get off my own platform. Indeed. <laughs> Still yeah, that could be like a. Go on. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just thinking of uh, is it, what film is it with Harrison Ford's in, in, on the plane and he's like, "Get off my plane." What? Uh, <laughs> what is that? Uh, Air Force Indiana One. Jones. Air Force One. Yeah. Indiana Jones he does that as well, doesn't he? Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't. I don't think so. He looks, he, he looks at something. He looks at something. He looks at something. I'm playing really? and getting shot, right? So, sure. <laughs> um, oh god, I don't care. And the anymore. famous, the famous line is from um, is from the um, the, the the fugitive, which is um, no ticket. 
when he chucks the guy off the train at the end. Right, he says that. Uh, he says that in the blimp in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. No ticket. Yes, he does as well. It's, it's, he said it in a few movies. Yeah, <coughs> tried, I tried okay. to make it his catchphrase, but it did, didn't work. I haven't seen his shit films, though, so... The Fugitive's not Fugitive's shit. Fugitive's great. I, don't, I, don't, I think I might have seen that once when I was, like, two. Ah, oh, it's a great movie. <laughs> I don't think it was out when you were two, mate. Oh, not only one, but two. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly what I wanted. That I forgot there was way more mines in this area. You, you, you having a go at me for using my thermal goggles all the time, and this is why. <laughs> this is exactly why because the game keeps catching you out. You know what? Yeah, I take it back. I take back the thermal goggle. Oh my god! <laughs> well, okay, maybe not. It's hard with that. Oh, analog. Give me a break, look at. Yeah, when you did that there, I had no idea what was even going on. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going I'm to keep the thermal goggles on all the time now. The rest of the playthrough. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. And still walk into every single flame <laughs> on mine. So, the next lift um, is nothing, no one attacks you or anything. It is a longer ride, but there's a big, long codec conversation and loads of ravens start to appear as well. And you can shoot the ravens, a lot of them. You can try shooting them. I think if you kill a few of them, I think you get a codec call from the colonel being like, you know, why are you killing all these birds, basically? Let's do it. There's a similar thing in Battle Gear Solid 2 with the seagulls as well. I think it's in both games. Because they say they, and they also land on the uh, on the railings. You can just go and punch them off the railings. Come on, Chris, you got to do that. you got to hit every bird. I want to see the, uh, they, uh... the call from the RSPBA. Uh, are, they, are the ravens jamming you? Yeah? No, you? I was getting jammed anyway. Jam. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> punching nice. birds. The one behind Probably you. easy just to hit them when they're on the railings, Chris, I reckon. Oh. There we go. Snake. <laughs> I've got something to tell you about oh, this is this, this is the, 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 the this is supposed to happen. This codec call. So basically, they're going to talk about how Naomi said something about her dad being in the FBI, but it's before the FBI was actually created, so her backstory doesn't check out. But you and... probably spoil everything for everyone. You, you tell them <laughs> well, just before I'm... it happens. It's like it's not afterwards. Right, guys, can you joking. tell me that you can you can honestly tell me if you've ever paid attention to anything that the subtitles have said throughout this entire playthree? I have not read a single thing. Yeah. I'll be that's why I'm saying this stuff so that at least they get a little bit of the story. It's good, man. Really bothering me. Why Bum God and Caffeine Junkie and Q Fireball are enjoying might. it. I'm pretty sure of that. Bum God, and that's a good name. Bum God. Bum God. Bum God. Come on. Bum God. What a is that is that an instruction as in saying Bum God, or is it saying he's the god of bums? Um, that's a good point. And what kind of bums? Yeah. Is it God of the bums that live on the street? Oh, bums. God of, well, no, 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 the verb or the noun. Eh? Is it, is it, is he, is he the God of the, the, the verb or the noun of bums? What, the, to bum is the Oh, is it, yeah, he's, he's the God of bumming, or he's the God of, of bottoms. Yeah, sorry. Or the God of posteriors. Answer us, bum God, immediately. Strange things are happening. We are intrigued now, are actually. Uh, he better be English, though, with a name like that. I don't know. Oh, God. Either well, it's not, it's not a, a collection of words that really require a, a strong grasp of the English language. Bum is. <laughs> Bum and God. You want to see an American using that word? Bum, Bum in America, not, not unless they're taking the person. Not unless, yeah, not unless they're taking the piss out of, um... Oh, what? Well, but Bum in America is... Yeah, bumming around in America or bum is someone who doesn't do anything. Yeah. Yeah, basically just watch the Rocky films. You want to see the word bum used in the American context because that's what Mickey calls Rocky yeah, all bum. the time. Yeah, I'm yeah, bum. Bum. <laughs> yeah, basically. Hey, John! I'm oh, there! Well, I did do it. So it was just a bum. And so just on. Leave so. him alone, Chris. I've got 192 that, bullets. I think I might be mistaken, it could be the Metal Gear Solid 2 where you do that. There's some seagulls in Metal Gear Solid 2 that you shoot, and then someone tells you you're being a dickhead for shooting them. I, I could be <laughs> just imagining it for this one. Maybe. God of Bums, uh, we've got the confirmation there. Lol. God of Bums, good, good. Okay. Alright, you've cleared it up now, you can go. 
<laughs> yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Let's not start not very nice to go away that have kindly joined us and watched this actual play. I like Whatever, Bob Bob. we don't need your viewership. I'm That's great. We should really do that when we get like seven. We should really start telling them we don't need them. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, we've had a few with uh, with quite a few people on. Cool. Oh, caffeine junkie doesn't like the cut, cut of our jib though. He's uh, he's uh, run off. I think you hear people do that sometimes when they hear the name. They'll just run off on the Twitch channel. Uh, uh, not me. Oh, we're not like stand, we're not like awful stand-up comedians. We won't start picking on you apart from if your name's Bum God. Yeah. But you kind of ask him for it then, aren't you? Welcome, See now, look at this piece of kit he's got here. What the fuck? I'm pretty he's sure that thing on his back. back. I think that's just the amount of ammo that he's carrying. Lit off some <laughs> steam, Bennett. Jug of ammo. <laughs> does it just me or does Raven remind you? Me, uh, he reminds me a little bit of Arnie. Yeah, like yeah, he does. Totally. Like his voice is that sort of weird accent. It's not really the same accent, but it's got a little is bit he, of that ring to it. Nah, he's, his accent's not it. I know most of the most of the bosses in Metal Gear talk bollocks, but Raven is the top of the bollock talker, and he, he yeah. just he talks absolute shite. I think this is the bit where he's like the ear pull is the dirt dirt. Dur. It's like you want to pull each other's ears because <laughs> it's talking about the uh, is it the the like Alaskan Olympics or whatever it is. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. <laughs> Look, oh. His head just exploded. Right, tell me what to do. Uh, in this fight, I always find <gasps> the uh, bum, bum got us from New Jersey. Sorry, just uh, so yeah, he's talking about bums as in we're talking about entirely different types of bums, by the way. We're talking about uh, our asses, basically. Our ass, yeah. ass, our ass, ass, ass. ass. Asses. No, I'm so, gonna say ass. So he bum god is it. someone who, or butt, is the god of butts. Yeah, in yeah. England. Go on, what's, what's going on then, Sam? Uh, I personally think the Stinger Missile Launcher is the best one to use against him. You can use the Nikita as well. Because it obviously it's like he's just running around the... Uh, it's like a big square arena thing, isn't it? With the, with the boxes in the middle. And every now and then he'll shoot some of them and destroy them and change the, uh, the level a little bit. not also an ice level now? <laughs> no, you don't slide around. Um, uh, yeah, you don't slide around, so it doesn't count. It's 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 a frozen level, but it's not ice. As in, like, you don't slide. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. What, what is he on about? Uh, this is what I it's mean. It's like, mate, sure. Sure. He's on about the ear-pulling contest where two people pull each other's ears and it whoever gives up. That's, that's an Inuit thing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it is, yeah. I think that's what Aaron is supposed to be, sort of. Right. Because they have all kinds of things. They that's, have one that's where they put their... that gun, innit? They pull, they'll do one where each one person puts a finger in the other person's mouth and you've got yeah. to pull. So yeah, your best bet is to, like, when you see him coming there, just wait with the with the stinger and just try and get a shot off at him before he gets a shot off at you. I find it's better than using the Nikita because when you're using the Nikita, you have to chase him around with it loads and it's like, ugh. It, this is a bit of a, of a fiddly <laughs> boss fight. I don't have a good, solid tactic other than if you try and sort of get behind him and then when you see he's going to come out that way but he keeps changing direction on you I love that you're firing anti-vehicle missiles on him look at oh, that shoot gun now. shoot now you'll hit him run away now run. yeah again shooting like anti-aircraft missiles at him and it just takes off you know 120 with his health it's fine I'm so disappointed that it's actually it's I took like three hits then, I missed him entirely. <laughs> and he shot you. Yeah. It sensed out the word ass in the channel, from what I can tell. What about ass? Yeah, ass probably, but I'm not not ass. Ass you've got the type, probably. You're it's an yeah, ass. You're a mod you're a mod though, so you can oh. probably type anything you want. Alright, okay. <clears throat> but don't. Is um, is it an ass a donkey? That's uh, not a swear word in that context. Not in America. Yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, bit of a fiddly boss fight. I love See, if I, I think if you shoot there, you can, if you hit his good, yeah, you go. That's the ideal, what you want right there, is um, when you can see him and he can't see you. Took quite a bit off there. I think when he gets down, again, he's like got a thing where he gets down to a certain health level, he'll start to run like twice as fast. 
it'll just be like it starts to run and just start shooting down every direction regardless of whether he sees you or not that's when it starts to get a bit trickier it looks like he's got the gun from an A10 war dog in fact I think it is an A10 warthog is that a halo thing no no the, 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 um, the, the, the anti-tank plane it's basically a flying chain gun Mate. Um, yeah, it's a Vulcan cannon, isn't it? Is that yeah. what it's called? The G G A U Avenger, I think it is. That's why it's G -A -U called Vulcan. Save, I mean. It is. That's it. That's what he's carrying. Jesus. That's why it's called Vulcan Raven. Right. Yeah, exactly. Well, now I know because he's actually carrying yeah. that gun. Yeah, but don't those things actually slow down the aircraft while they're the, flying quite yeah, a considerable the, the, amount? Half, half, <laughs> yeah, they, they, they push, push out half the thrust of the entire aircraft in front of the yeah. aircraft. <laughs> and he stood on a slightly frosty floor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he'd be throwing a <laughs> gun and flying through the, the side of the entire building. He might have uh, ice spikes on his boots. Though, yes, you know? yes, I, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Crampons. <laughs> he might. Probably. He's just so hard, so you just... Yeah, he's exactly. He's probably... He ain't Where got time he? for inertia. I can hear him to my right. There he is. That bastard. At least Vulcan Raven's got an appropriate code of vision for what a human being can actually see, because then you can see across the room. <laughs> but like all the other guards, <laughs> you can only see about eight feet in front of them. Yeah, he's gone into mental fast mode now, hasn't he? And <laughs> off on one. It's the panting. You can't hear yeah, it. Yeah, I think. It? I think <laughs> in this area, I think it, the game sort of suggests that you're supposed to use the Nikita missile launcher or something. But I think this thing is much easier. Yeah. I have to agree. Oh no, 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 no. It's because it's fast. You can sort of fire it and get away. Whereas with the Nikita, you fire it. And then, as you're chasing him, he might find where you're stood and shoot you and stuff yeah. like that. So that makes it really challenging to use that weapon. Look at the map; it's like watching. Um... <laughs> oh shit! I... Oh, he shot oh, me nice. just to say. <laughs> that was like mutually assured destruction, except you didn't <laughs> die. <laughs> it was like watching Pac-Man. I hated yeah. that one again. The first time I played. In fact, I hated every single <laughs> one of the boss fights in this. The first time I played the game. <laughs> it Chris, is just is there anything about fights, this game that you like? Yeah, everything. <laughs> but it was the, it was the feeling of satisfaction when you defeated them that made you love the game, I guess. No, it was a story. No? As I said, ah. I said when we were talking about it, if you don't like the story in a Metal Gear Solid, there's no point in playing it because the gameplay in the first one isn't. I mean, the second one and third one different. You know, they've all got their own qualities. But the first one, it's it's just really about finding out what happens to Snake and. To me, it is anyway. I mean, the, if, unless you really like boss fights. I, I, do you know what? I'll have to play through this game again to really judge just how much I enjoy it. In, it's from a gameplay perspective. I remember completing it several, several times uh, and skipping through the cutscenes a lot of the time, so I must have enjoyed the gameplay enough. Yeah. But again, back in the day, there wasn't much choice, but now there is a lot of choice. So. I was going to say, it, it, True. it seems to be a game of an earlier time, and. It, do, it doesn't seem to have aged well, and I don't mean that in terms of graphics, but in just... I guess it's probably been ripped off so much that it feels old now, the stuff that's in this game. But at the time, I bet it was very in innovative. It was extremely innovative. <laughs> but I don't I don't think... <clears throat> I, dis I disagree that I don't think it has aged that badly. It it plays okay, it's just that because we don't have analogue now. I, I, well, I know you can get analogue with this game, but I haven't got it on this particular emulator. Yeah, yeah. So Literally, yeah, so that MGS2 onwards though, they are very good to play, the and there's a lot of skies. interesting stuff to do. There's more than just the bosses. The stuff you can do with the fact when we get to Metal Gear Solid 2, the stuff you can do with the guards is ridiculous. Like again, three, three and four are the same. The amount of fun you can have with just messing around with the guards is quite a lot. <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, well they've got like things like location damage, so you can like. You can shoot a guard in his hand 
in both his hands, in one foot, and he'll like limp off to try and start an alarm. And you can just sort of casually oh follow him and just trouble. punch him and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you, can be, you can be really mean in that game if you want to be. Bum, Bum God's just said, you guys know they're making a remake of the remake for this game. Now, the remake for this game is Twin Snakes, which we nearly played instead of this. Mm. But I didn't know they were making a remake of that. Really? I, d I, mm. I don't see why they would. They need to do the H a HD version of this game, but they'd have to redo the entire thing, and that's why they haven't. Maybe I mean, that's what they're going to do. Maybe they're going to take the Twin Snakes thing and, and just HD remaster that. We actually have... Um, after we finish... Each step you take is paid with the corpses of your enemies. After Sorry. we finish that, we're going to play the HD collection, which I don't know if you, you can see very well. Um, MGS 2, 3, and Peace Walker. Peace Walker, which I haven't played yet. And I'm looking forward yeah. to playing. And then Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, probably play Peace Walker after 4, actually, do you reckon? Um, well, it was made should after Should I play them chrono obviously. chronologically? Chronologically, then, we should be playing <coughs> Ground Zero. Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright, sorry then. Oh, well, yeah. Uh, we, chronologically, we in terms of release date, I mean. Oh, yeah, in terms of release then, dates, maybe. Then Peace Walker is after Metal Gear Solid 4 in that case, yeah. then. It's obviously Metal Gear Solid 4 is on a PS3, so it looks a lot better than Peace Walker. Um, Peace Walker was for the PSP, so it looks oh, more right. like a PS2 game, but it was released after Metal Gear Solid 4. Mm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we better look Well, Naomi is not who she says she is or something. That guy is so fucking Duke Nukem, isn't he? He just is Duke Nukem. Look at him. Because you can't really tell where his hair ends on the side, so he puts on big tufts. <laughs> It could be a massive white afro that goes on forever. But there is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter. Who yeah, can someone, <laughs> can someone find find out about this remake of the remake then? Um, I'm, I'm going to take a look at it now. I've not heard anything about it. No, this. neither have I. I've heard, yeah. I've heard there was talk of, of doing a, a remake of the original Metal Gears in the, the first one, the MSX one, but then apparently it's been scrapped. Uh, so I don't know. So I've got an official list here, and the, the, the one that's... Um, the, the new one that's coming is Phantom Pain. I don't want to believe it. Yeah. yeah. But she that's the one, that's the big, that's not Gear Solid 5, basically. Everybody knows of it. Or she could be working with some they want it on the Fox oh, engine so they can it. sell it on the other consoles. Different group. Mm. And the Fox engine is very, um... Under arrest, uh, the Fox engine's for the new one, isn't it? For Phantom trailers. Pain. It's yeah, so, uh, like Grand Zeroes, I think. Yeah, Grand Zeroes Phantom Pain, but that's for an open world stuff. It wouldn't suit this game at all. I mean, you can By the look of it, it. It's, uh, it's a fan made uh, remake. Ah. It's been paid by Konami. There we go. But has that been scrapped, though? I'm sure I heard it's been. I bet was... there's a cease and desist going up for that. If, if Konami is still working on this series, then they're not going to tolerate fan remakes. No. The, the Japanese developers are not big fans of that stuff. Valve was f cool with it for um, Black Mesa Source. But um, generally, the Japanese developers and publishers tend to protect their IPs a lot more mm. stringently. Right. Okay. So you had heard that it was yeah, was there something going on with it, and then it got scrapped, basically, is what I heard, or it was, it was told they couldn't do it. So yeah, basically, Snake's fallen out with the Colonel because he, you know, this woman that's been in, that's been in charge of the. Well, half in charge of the operation with him. He doesn't even know who she is, and blah 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 blah. So he's a bit miffed. Yeah, he ends up basically not Very trusting happy. anybody. <laughs> I'm just lots of backstabbing any more uh, any, any more stuff. Wasn't there something he? Oh no. I, I think is it if you if you crouch down like the camera angle might shift or something like it does that in a couple of places. That didn't mean crawl. There we go. There you go. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he well, got he got only does it there. He, got, he got devoured by those ravens. By the way, I don't know if you guys will pay attention, but he, yeah, the ravens devoured him, <laughs> including all his bones and everything. Okay, only does it the first. Oh no, there we go. You have to be in an exact pixel spot to do it. <laughs> yep, of course. What else do you expect? At least a ten pixel radius. That's, that's <laughs> the standard these days. <laughs> I think you've got uh, everything you need from this room. Yeah. Alright. It's a polite way of saying, get the fucking move on then. Get a move on, yeah. Oh, your rations are frozen as well, by the way. Did you notice that? I did, yes. So I could go you bring back. That... Uh, no, they'll, they'll, um, they'll defrost on their own, naturally. Just don't 
you can't use them for a while. Look at all those cameras. This is the room that I remember. This is the room that I've been wittering on about for ages. But it's not that interesting. I don't know. It just it just sticks in my mind. There is another trapdoor um, in here. So keep to the left or the right. Or just oh, I've right the middle. It. It's okay if you don't stop like you did that at the time. <laughs> Bloody hell. Chuck another, chuck another one. Chuck another one. Sorry, I didn't realise oh. there was loads what? of them. <laughs> There's what the billions hell? of them. There's just loads and loads of them. Mine detector. That's mad. Totally useless. Oh, well, actually, the mine detector is really useful when you search for the PAL key later on. Shit. They were running Nikita missiles anyway. I think I've got them all. Ah, you don't. You don't need them anymore. Ooh. All right, here we go then into the actual Metal Gear hangar where you see the beast itself. And again, this is a really cool like moment. The basically the whole level is you sort of climbing up the frame that's around Metal Gear, which here is a go. cool concept. So you're climbing up a boss that you're about to fight later. That's quite cool. This is it the is, moment. Yeah. Metal Gear. So the control room's at the top and you've got to go and put the PAL key in and blah 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 blah. Are the, bo are the soldiers around here? Uh, there's only soldiers when you get to the top so there's nothing around here, no. Van, oh my god. Fucking van. It's a Sat normal your... speed now though. Yeah, but it's still, you it's know, still fucking hear it, ridiculously though. loud. That's on. That's at the top of the street as well. That's about yeah. a good 150 feet away. He's a bit crackers your ice cream man, isn't he? I bet you went. Have you ever got anything from there? Yeah. Right. Does it? Is he raving? When you when you go on, <laughs> when you get an ice cream from, is he raving? Is he off his tits buzzing yeah. while they're walking you know, across the I'll ceiling? All I say is like tires from space. Oh, I was going to say, I was thinking <laughs> tires are like, oi, oi! God, I've watched, not seen um, space watch, for ages. Watch the end of uh, uh, dead, the, the dead one. Here. What's it called? Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. End of Shaun of the Dead, and I forgot I tires is in that as a cameo. Where are you now? Right in front of me. Isn't he a zombie, basically? Yeah, he's just a zombie. What is? There's nobody here. Metal Gear. Nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe it's too <laughs> quiet. Yeah, exactly. God just said, no, I think Gum God's got the um, got, got snake's number here. Yeah. Yep. Well, what did he say? <laughs> Metal <laughs> Gear. <system. laughs> and besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Oh, he's, he's delivering quite a monologue now. You got some kind of plan. Yeah. Well, I'm in the computer room right computer now. Computer room? I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Now? Mm. Baker's files. <laughs> is it, there, Baker's is there, yes. Yes. The password? There are times. There are times when um, Snake goes mm. yep. as well. Me yeah. Well. There's quite a lot of like. <clears throat> I don't know yet. Hi. Oh, yeah, Ooh, potato. Counting on you. Have you noticed though how that how that not just in lots of Japanese stuff? That's like a sound that. That they make like as in if you watch the even if you watch it with the uh, with the subtitles on instead, sort of making like Ugh, it's like it's actually part of conversation. Yeah, you can see it in a lot of anime. <coughs> Look at that distance, by the way. Uh, Isn't Look that just lazy translation? <coughs> like it says mm. something profound, but it couldn't be asked, so it's just like. No, oh, it's right. usually when they just got they're just looking at the camera, just going Ugh, like just making oh. like, like noises. <laughs> that, that was a dirty noise. Are you talking specifically about pornography? <laughs> what, hentai? <laughs> no, we to be squelching the tentacles. It's the, yeah. the Japanese, yeah, the Japanese uh, translation of Oh No, Those Tentacles. Not all hentai has tentacles in it, guys. No, but most, most of, of it does. does. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the authority on, on hentai, yeah? <laughs> I've watched Greg watch enough of it. We've used the internet for at least two or three years. <laughs> Nicely sidestepped there, Steve. Bravo. <laughs> so, yeah, I think basically you want to basically head to the control room and then um, more plot thickens. There's going to be, a, basically, there's going to be a lot more cutscenes and codec calls from this point onwards, so we're going to have to just get used to it. Because <laughs> it, it gets more like that towards the end of the game. There's just more of that stuff. I didn't I think this them. game was as bad for it, you know, but it really is, isn't it? Yeah. But then again, when what... I'm engrossed in it, it doesn't matter because I'm enjoying it. How do I get down? How do? I... Sorry, how do I? Um, <laughs> go. You, you've sort of gone. This is basically nothing, Randy. Go, go. No. 
Yeah, go to the left. As I soon as you got off that ladder, was the there was another oh, ladder the right in front of you. Man. Yeah. I thought it was about like 15 feet tall or something, but no, it's, it's massive, the size it? of a hangar. It's huge. And they're all that big. Well, actually, no, they're not, because there's some later on that get a bit smaller, but they're pretty much all that big. I've got a feeling the Metal Gear in, like, you know, MSX Metal Gear probably was about that scale, because that had to fit on the screen, like in a 2D, top-down Zelda-type screen. Whereas this is, they built, like, a massive, you know, mechanical monster. Don't you start talking about bloody speedrunning, Potato. Is speed walking? It's yeah, different. well, it's just as bad. <laughs> That's not speed walking. Is where you 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 walk really angrily. <laughs> you walk really <laughs> determined. Yeah, with that sort of weird. It, 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 it always seem to be like their hips seem to be going wildly when they do that speed walk. Well, yeah, because you gotta you gotta try really hard not to run because as soon as like both feet are off the ground, you're running. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can like up loads of like lower body coordination to stop yourself from leaving the ground. Have you seen? You must have seen that Malcolm in the Middle um, episode where Hal was it? Oh my God, it is hilarious. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh. It's Brian worth Cranston. watching if you've not seen any of the other ones. Brian Cranston's a man. He's a mint. I, mean, I, I remember watching... I remember watching Malcolm in the Middle, and I thought Hal was the funniest guy in it, and it just turns out that he was... Yeah. Well, he was, he was written well, but he was played by a fantastic actor who could do anything, basically. Comedy and drama. Oh, he's looking angry. It's the ultimate. The end of the world is the ultimate weapon. So basically, they're saying that Metal Gear, um, because of the way it uses a railgun to launch a nuke that can't be tracked, it can launch one at anywhere on the planet, and you can't tell where it came from. So basically, it can launch. You can basically just have a nuclear bomb go off like that, and you don't know where it came from with Metal Gear. That's the real advantage of it. Um, the whole being a walking tank thing, they kind of try and make the point that that's more manoeuvrable, but it's basically just so they can have a big walking tank. Like, it doesn't really make any sense. But. Because, because the mecha fetish was needed to be yeah. saved. Yeah, yeah, because because mechs are cool and that's all. So if it's got a rail gun, then surely that it needs a line of sight because you can't really do a, a parabolic rail gun shot. You probably, you evidently know more about that than I do, but they, the way they explain it in the game is it uses a railgun to fire the nuke, so it doesn't use propulsion on the on the missile itself. Right. If you believe. fired a railgun directly up, upwards, would it break the app? Well, would it break Earth's gravitational pull? Well, if it's a railgun, it's fire, I mean, the whole point of railguns is to fire it like approaching the speed of light, don't they? Or they're, they're supposed to anyway. They don't in real life, but it's they're just fire a... very fast. It's just a mag, uh, well, a, a magnetically accelerated round, isn't it? Yeah, but the point yeah. is, if you've got a cruise missile, then that's going to go faster than a, a railgun and be able to hit its target. Whereas if, if you fire a, a nuke really fast, it's going to escape, isn't it? It's going to... No, because gravity will pull it, so it will start a form of parabola. Yeah, it will, but then it's not faster than a cruise missile. People are leaving the channel, guys. <laughs> no, that's because we've been on dialogue for about 15 minutes. Yeah, there's maybe the entertainers, Chris. I, uh, I'm sitting here watching this. We're trying to I fill very... out the gaps with hard science. There's no here. gaps. There's loads of talking, but you guys are talking over it. So show up. Oh, there's no. Also, we just want to be silent. Now, this is the, this is the place where the sniper rifle is actually quite handy for taking out guards. Yeah. I used to use it. You just basically lie down here, and when the guard comes out, just shoot him. And it doesn't matter where you shoot him; in the legs will do. He's dead in one <laughs> shot, I think. There you go. Not in the knee. It's just better because if you run towards him on this clickety clackety floor here, he'll hear your footsteps. You could do the equip unequip trick that I was telling you at the very first episode. Yeah, but I'm not going to do it. But it's yeah, and you have to sort of practice it to get good at it as well. And you haven't really got the time for all that nonsense. So just sniper rifle him to death. Practice. You've met very little um, resistance in here. Yeah, they did make a point about that in the codec call with like, where are all the guards? Where you know, you think Metal Gear would have all the guards around it? Well, no, because it's a big nuclear tank. Surely that doesn't. That's right, that's right. Well, hmm. if they wanted to stop someone like you from doing this, then yeah, they should have more guards, shouldn't they? Yeah. But as we're about to find out, there's a reason why they're not particularly guarding this area. Yeah, bum god, I was I was kind of joking. I, I I wasn't expecting Ooh. these guys to shut up and listen to the game. The whole point is that we're. Uh, <laughs> it's it's What's our bum god said like. 
He just went, I played this over 30 times, I don't mind a conversation. See, Chris? <laughs> it, was the, it was the context of the conversation, how fucking real guns work, as if you guys are quantum physicists or something, you know? That's the target is No, just normal physicists understand how real guns work. I'm just normal physics. Is that a degree you get? Normal yeah. physics. Just normal, normal physics. physics. <laughs> <laughs> when, when oh, uh, Ocelot again. Mate, you better get used to Ocelot, right? Because yeah. other than Solid Snake, he's ridiculous in every shit. game. He's in every game as well. Is he in um, Fat the Peace Walker? Oh, he's sorry, he's not in Peace Walker. Well, back. Up, he is in. He is in two, <laughs> three, and four. Yes. Yes. He should be played by Billy Connolly. He's played by Wild Bill <laughs> Hickok. Yeah, Wild Bill the Hickok. Real the real <laughs> Wild Bill Hickok. Yeah. <laughs> Say something, Bill. There's a skeleton in a chair. <laughs> I love how when they're all talking, like in all of the Metal Gears, it seems to be a, 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 a consistent thing. They use acronyms all over the place, but there's always a little dis description of what it is next to it. Or they make, yeah, a, they make a point yes. of, of enunciating it exactly right, you know? Yeah, there's a bit, um, one of our little snake quotes that always gets me. I think it's in the, the pre, you know when you when you load up the, the title screen, there's like a little pre-game cutscene there. Where that bit there has snakes like weapons and equipment, OSP, and it's like on-site yeah. documentary. Yeah. <laughs> Procurement. Procumentary? Yeah. I'm sure it says procumentary, yeah. I could be misremembering that, but I've, I, I've, I watched, that... I've watched it no less than like a... six or seven times today, and I, 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 I a documentary tell you. about people's bums. It could be Bum God's documentary, in fact. Something to do a mixture of proctology and documentary. Proctomentary. Procumentary. So they're just talking about their demands and stuff, and. And Sergei Galukovic, he, he appears in Metal Gear Solid 2. Briefly. What, what's going on there? That's a dodgy camera angle. I've noticed that when the camera's moving on this emulator, it's making things blurry, like the... Yeah, yeah it's almost cool vision. Yeah, it doesn't do this on the normal game. It doesn't have doesn't that it? issue. It must be so oh, right. No. That blurry thing you get when the camera moves, that's not meant to be like that. It's supposed to be just the well, normal... It's only, it's only in cut scenes it's doing it, isn't it? And it's only doing it sometimes. Yeah. It's not doing it right See, there now. It's, like, yeah. it's supposed to look like this. Basically, when the camera moves, I don't really know why it's doing that. But. Although there are a few scenes where it does blur a little bit, like this, like Grey Fox and that, for example. Yeah, it's doing it there, look. Yeah. It's like it's trying to do a depth of field thing. Mm. Well, I'm not going to mess around with it. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance. Ah, so now Liquid's talking about um, using Galukovic's forces. He's the one that gave him the helicopter. Uh, and making a stand here and sort of turning this little island into their own sovereign military nation. Which is something that uh, Big Boss in the olden days was kind of trying to do as well. Which we'll find out more about in Phantom Pain. Yeah. Well, I believe that's the plot of Metal Gear 1 and 2. Like, he's trying to establish out of heaven and you as Solid Snake have to go and fight him. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear war. I hope that's what they do in fact. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. The oh, world will be ours. I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not State does not care about Mother Russia. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Ooh. Ooh. Big boss's dream. But boss. You're not worried about the <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't uh, out heaven moves though, doesn't it? Wu Potato Power just posting a picture of a tank with legs. And it is brilliant. I won't watch it, I won't look at it now because it'll break the emulator. Yeah, my internet connection's on a tenuous hole as it is, so I'm not going to open any of the windows. Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece and Snake. Ocelot's eyes are really well, closed, aren't they? The like he's doing he's... that Brock, Brock thing from Pokemon where his eyes blink and they aren't even open. It just... That used to annoy the shit out of me, that. 
Like, open your goddamn eyes, Brock. Yakimo from um, Sazan Eyes does it as well. Yeah. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. It's quite so a common thing in uh, okay. yes, Japanese entertainment. Right. It is, yeah. The, the kind of squinty-eyed hero. Also be used to input the detonation codes. Oh, and I did say squinty-eyed there. I was not being in any way racist. <laughs> Every single show. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I would be the one who was going to be ra like called out for being racist and everything else. <laughs> I was the one who was going to be racist. <laughs> you just get that feeling sometimes. Yeah. Ooh, I feel a bit racist. Right. Coming on. It's going to happen. It's <laughs> alright, it was just a fart. <laughs> just a bit of genocide, sorry. Memory You've only really died so, once, Chris. Memory yeah, indeed. That's because it's yes. all been cutscenes the entire playthrough, so this, this time. <laughs> it's been two boss fights, and the rest is just cutscenes. And, and, oh, no, cameras and cutscenes. And two lift combat. Two lifts, yeah. Yeah. This key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Clever. So yeah, the key, that key like you have that, to... Can you see the <laughs> Clever! Clever! The is that the spooky voice team from the Sims? <laughs> That wasn't. That was terrible. Yes, it was. So here's uh, yeah, here's that other. You know that bit of backtracking I said that was really tedious. I said there was two. This is the second one. So you put the key in at its normal temperature, then you've got to go back to where you fought Raven and stand there until it goes cold. Then you've got to go put it back in, it. then you've got to go back First, past that section to the smelting room and stand there till it turns right. hot, right. then go all the way back to here and put it in. Then that's when you can fight Metal Gear. So this next section of the game is just... Oh, is this the last... This is the last boss? You get, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's one after, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. Yeah, the reason this bit of the game takes a while is because there's so much talking. Like, the actual stuff that you do, you basically go and do the power key bit and then fight loads of bosses and that's the end of the game. <laughs> Whoa, good shot off of that. Oh no! Oh no! That key fell in the drainage ditch. This is bulletproof glass. <laughs> there's no way in. She, he says there's bulletproof glass. It's like I've got. It's like I've got an anti-tank missile launcher. Like I don't care about your bulletproof glass. He should have just shot a missile at them. Snake, you've got to get that key. Yeah, the mine detector can be quite handy for finding it because the rats have eaten it, haven't they? When you get down there, you've got to find the rat that's eaten it and all kinds of stuff. Are you going invisible, dudes? Have yeah? No, I think you just uh, oh, there's, you there's... can see that guy. Just hard to see. Yeah, uh... forget stealth. Just leg it. You, you go. You were going the right way then. Shit. Yeah. So ridiculous the, the, the control system. Can X and square and circle to do anything. Don't. Fortunately, these soldiers are too stupid to climb ladders as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're, we're still in that era of computer games where they just they look at literally down walk a ladder. Yeah. <laughs> that reminds me of um, is it Hot Shots in the Hot Shots part two? Yeah. <laughs> and not. Bastards. Alright, oh, it's in the drainage thingy, isn't it now? Um down here, and then I think you're down at the bottom then. So yeah, I believe if you get the mine detector out, there should be a little white dot that is the rat that's eating the PAL key, if I remember correctly. Again, this is all stuff that the rashes are still frozen, is it? Do you know what? I think if you when we go to the hot room, rations will defrost, so don't yeah. worry about that. Oh, I'm not worried, mate. Got better things to worry about, like my mortgage and, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? Bomb? Alright, this is sewage then, is it? Yeah, you probably would have chucked that bomb. You've already gone past it. It's got like six seconds left as well. Quick! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I forgot when you go in the water, it makes your health go down. I try to remember how it is. You, yeah, I think you have to kill the rat to get the 
the thingy back, but I'm not sure how you do it. It's obviously going to be down here where the camera is, isn't it? Maybe. You just shot in the back of the head there and just didn't care. Maybe just, do you know what? Just, a headband. Uh, I've got, it might just be in the water. If you just go into the water, you might have to just run around in the water until you find it. I found it. Um. Have you? Where's that pal key? It'll be the last thing I pick up, won't it? Yeah. I don't I don't think it looks like a big box. I think, I don't know. Nope. Right, that's all of it. Um I think I might have a smoke. Uh, do you know what? I'm genuinely not sure. Would it chew up on thermal goggles anyway? I'm sure that the, the a, a rat is eating it or something. Oh, there you go. Some red dots over here. Left. Yeah, the mine detector. Yeah. yeah. That was easy. Yeah. Maybe it's on different difficulty settings when the rats eat them, or maybe it's if you leave it too long or something. Anyway, now you've got to go back up. Oh, no, I can't use. Chris. What? If someone, you quit someone has Someone in the chat has mentioned that this would be a lot easier if, they, if you had some cheese. I just noticed you... that, and I did yesterday. All day yesterday. Um, if you watch yesterday's you stream, I don't know. Where are you going? Do you want to get some is, cheese? He's like cheese. <laughs> cheese. Oh, <laughs> mate. <laughs> <laughs> we we had a big argument. Sorry, go on, Sam. If you equip the rations on you, they'll defrost more quickly. Yeah, Sorry, we, we had a we had a big argument yesterday about the um, the fact that mice don't actually like cheese. No, if you put biscuits down, they're more likely to get chocolate to... and chocolate yeah, as well. Yeah, chocolate's good. Yeah, chocolate's good for it. Biscuits, yeah. I found. I wasn't the best trying to suggest mind. that a mouse would be attracted by the cheese. I simply said you, you could use the cheese in that capacity. Yeah, you could use it, but it'd be <laughs> useful. It'd be useless, wouldn't it? Uh, it might <laughs> attract something else. <laughs> Here we go. What, like an elephant? <laughs> Possibly. Maybe, I think Tom and Jerry even, lied to us for that, didn't it? <clears throat> maybe even me. I like cheese. It'd yeah, but Tom, me. And, Tom and Jerry also made us think <clears throat> that, that, that cats were basically indestructible, even if yeah. <laughs> you wrapped them around a, a iron board. Well, the original yeah, uh, conversation was based around whether or not you could use cheese. Yeah, it was. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> Just shut up. And you can use cheese, I Potentially believe. Potentially the least interesting conversation you've ever, <laughs> ever taken part in it. Part, part I in think it. you're giving me way too much credit there. <laughs> <laughs> right, I was going to say, when you take out that context, you can use cheese for a variety of things, I imagine. Yeah. Eating being only one of them. Well, no, Steve's, Steve's the ultra French suggestion was that you could cork <laughs> my bolts with the cheese. Oh yeah, I haven't uploaded it yet, have I? <laughs> right, well, come on, Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese. Mr. Cheese, guys. <laughs> Mr. Cheese. <laughs> hey, lay on. It's a very strange uh, run. It's almost like he's kind of prancing. Mm. It's, like it's, a like a... it's like a stealthy run. <laughs> it's like when you were a kid and you used to run with your slippers on instead of your trainer shoes. <laughs> you used to feel dead fast, but you used to run on your tiptoes. Oh, that never happened to me. Oh, well, you, you didn't have tiptoes? No, I, I couldn't run. <laughs> just so you know, I'm actually in a wheelchair and Steve's just taking the piss out of me. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Steve! What? It's a miracle! Oh no! <laughs> I oh believe! Canal Blue, watch it. Oh. 
Did well, you hear about that um, that Kanye West gig that he uh, done recently? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Get everyone to stand up, and there was uh, two disabled children in the front row. Didn't, what didn't, he, didn't he play? Wasn't it the same <laughs> guy? Or I think it was someone else. So he played a, a game of basketball against yeah. all the disabled uh, basketball players. Yeah, that was about players. three days later. <laughs> And he slammed them he, as well. He, yeah, he yeah. scored, he scored like 150 <laughs> points or something against them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, <guess. laughs> I think he's a think joke. I... I think he's a joke. He's got to be. He's such a ridiculous man. He is. He, he is. He's got to be a character. Man. He keeps calling himself a musical genius. And it's like, it's not even what, what have you ever done? Where's the evidence of that musical genius? Is it that that gay fish song? It's probably the best. Not even is that South Park. <laughs> <laughs> thing is that, that that is why I associate with him as soon as someone mentions him. Oh, yeah, he keeps coming back. Fish dicks. He does, yeah. Such a bell end. Fish don't have dicks. I shot in between his legs then, and I still managed to kill him. Fish dicks. Does that mean what? you're a gay fish? Yeah. Only if you put them in your mouth. Have you not seen this episode, Lee, of South Park? He doesn't Park. do South Park. I don't no. think, do you? I, I do. What the? No, no, I watched every episode up to about series 10, and then I kind of got South Parked out. It got it's really, like... really good after that. Like, it started <laughs> getting quite political for a while. Yeah, yeah uh, the season thing is... 10's a good season. It's actually probably my favourite season, where Chef dies. I, I, I know that they, um, they kind of rebelled a bit, didn't they? Basically, they were told that by contract they had to deliver so, uh, so many more seasons, and so they just kind of tried to make it as offensive as possible to kind of end the contract early or something, or to piss them off. Well, there was a lot of other but people that were work. doing writing there um, for... For one or two seasons, um, a lot of the their comedians that used to work with Chris Morris were actually writing the script along with uh, the two guys as well. But that's why I kind of went quite that. dark. I can't remember what season it was. I think it might have been eleven or twelve, or both. You know, yeah, it's I'm not seven. annoying at all. The music but, restarting every single time you go down a ladder. Yeah, dun, we can't hear dun, it. So, <laughs> right, is it the is it the ice area or, or, or the or. other one? It's the ice one first. So what are you trying just... to achieve at the minute? You're trying to blow that thing up? He's trying to We're heat trying up to his activate car, activate Metal Gear, basically. Now we have to heat our card up, then we have to cool it down. Technically, we're trying to deactivate Metal Gear. Um, right. Yeah, well, whatever. But, but you know. <laughs> you basically, the PAL, key, the, the PAL key system is supposed to like deactivate and make Metal Gear inoperative. That's, 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 the, that's the reason we're trying to do it. But it's too cold to work. Uh, no, you need to it's... They say it's a memory alloy, so basically the key, it's one key that you have to get into three different states. As room temperature is one, it's one thing. When uh, it's frozen, it's another, and when it's heated, it's a different one. Is it cold or is it hot? No. It's cold first, mate. <laughs> so this is basically gold key, red key, blue key. Yeah. In a classical adventure game sense. It is actually. In fact, it's even those colours. Because it's now gold now. Yeah. And then when it goes cold, it goes blue. And then when you heat it up, it goes red. So, yeah. I always, felt, I always felt like the gold key was a bit pretentious. I mean, you've got blue and red, which are just normal colours, but then it can't be yellow. It has to be gold. Yeah. I'm a special key. I'm gold. Lou <laughs> <laughs> so wasn't allowed gold things when he was a kid. I wasn't. Do you know I what? Right? I had a gold ring, but I had to eat it. I'm really not into gold as as a thing of, of worth and value. I You're don't, not a Bond villain, are you? I don't like the look of it. I think it looks... I think <laughs> it said, looks... You said that very shit. accusingly then, Lou. You're, You're not, not a yeah, Bond villain. We're, we're all Bond <laughs> villains here, aren't we? I think I was going to say as if that was like we're part of the right. club and I've now kicked out. I'm going to go and get, have a wee while I wait for this key to cool down. I'm in the I'm right gonna place. I'm going to go for a wee as well. We'll, uh, we'll be back very <laughs> shortly, guys. We have to yeah, wait anyway. Hold on. Should we just have an intermission? Yes. Yeah, right, actually, so yes, we, you. we're going to have a five minute intermission, guys. Yeah. Um, we'll be back shortly. Five minutes. Oh. Do we all get Two to go minutes, then? whatever. I'm going to stay. Yeah. I'm going to talk about gold because I agree with you. I, I don't like gold uh, wearing yeah, it. I, yeah, I'm not um, into it. I don't, I don't like it, particularly on other people. I really, I, I'm not the, like. Bling is the exact opposite of how I live. I don't like to be just like, oh, look at all this flashy, shiny shit I've got all over me. I just think it makes it look like a twat. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I've got, I wear earrings and I've got a silver chain, but I, I don't, I don't wear any gold. I don't wear no gold. I'm like um, mm. like Mr. T in his uh, finding yeah. God, <laughs> finding God moments. Hey, Mythalors are here. 
Finding what was that? Is finding God moment? Well, yeah, he, he went into a, a bit of a. He, I think he got cancer or something, and then he found gods and he got rid of all of his gold. Because all, all of his right. gold was he. He worked as a bouncer and he took the gold off people that he threw out of the clubs. Okay. And he ended up with a huge collection of gold around his neck. And that kind of makes sense. But he, uh, he gave it all away, or he sold it, or something like that. And so when you see him in the adverts recently, the um, the Snickers adverts. That was all just like costume jewelry that whacked back on him. It wasn't his own stuff. Yeah, he doesn't have that anymore. Right, okay. So um, was that before or after he did the uh, the, the really weird Always oh, Respect to Your Mother song, whatever it was? That was in the 80s. That was when he was at the height of his fame. Always uh, love your mother. Or whatever. Yeah. It was so treat, terrible. Treat, treat, treat your mother right. Treat He's your not mother a musical right. man, or was he? Oh, is he? He's not no. dead. He's not a musical He's, man, by any stretch of the imagination. He's actually surprisingly young. Um, he's not as old as you think he is. He, in the A team, he was the youngest person in the A team. Was he only like twenty or something? Was it's he? something like that. Yeah, he was really young. Lawrence Terard, his name is. Um, but uh, yeah, well, to be fair, the other eight, like Hannibal in the A team, was already like pushing sixty when the A team yeah. was on tell. Yeah. Um, I've, have you seen the new movie? Well, there is the the one oh, with um, Liam Neeson and that in it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was I've all right. I think it was alright. I've, I've heard about it and I didn't really want to watch it because it seemed like it was going to be rubbish, but... It, it, it kind of is, and it, it's entertaining, it's 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 of, you know, it's of the sort of commando ilk of action movie, you know, you can just go and watch it. I mean, the four guys who play the characters have fun doing it, like Liam Neeson obviously yeah, is quite good, you know, Shalto uh, Copley is Mint, is um, the crazy Hannibal. guy, what's he called? Not Hannibal, not Hannibal. Um, uh, Face. Uh, not Face, the other not one. Face, the other one. Murdoch. <laughs> Murdoch, yeah. <laughs> There's only Mr. T yeah. left. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bradley Cooper plays Face and he does a good job of it. And um, So it's good in that sense. It's like it's just very, very silly, but it's not a, a good, just, good film, really. I was just wondering if... if, if I mean, you've, you've mentioned Commando a few times. Obviously, you hold that in high regard, as <laughs> most... Too. Fucking I mean, love it's that. a great well, movie. It, it's, 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 it's so silly. It's brilliant, but, but yeah, can, I know, it's great in all the wrong ways. In all the yeah, right ways. Wrong. I, I'll give I'll give Commando some credit. There's a couple of bits in it that has got some genuinely really cool stunts, like some really cool stunt work in it. In terms yeah. of like a, an old school '80s action film where they really did shit. Oh, it's the. It, it ultimate. actually looks really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of bits, loads of real explosions and good like good old fashioned blood squibs and. Yeah, loads of Arnie one-liners. So many Arnie so, one-liners. So many. One of my favourite parts of that is when he he actually does the ta- he he takes on the um, the final base where there's loads and loads and loads yeah. of bad guys. He's protecting this little girl who's ran off already and hidden from them all. And, and he, that he little GPMGs the lot of them. It's one yeah. hat on hand. And they and not that, one that little girl is Alyssa Milano. Yeah. Like bizarrely. What was she? Was it Charmed? Yep. She was very I... hot in Charmed and uh, very weird to see her in Commando. Like seeing um, Natalie Portman in uh, Leon. Yeah. It's weird. She just looks like a really young, like, that sounds bad. <laughs> like a looks... really young Natalie Portman. No, she does. Look, she just looks like a really young version of it. She doesn't look like she's... Oh, hang on. Yeah, her, that's her, that's that's Natalie Port- people do. That, yeah, Natalie Portman's like face really look like lots of people's face changes as they get older like my face now does not look like it did when I was 12 yeah. whereas Natalie Portman is about my age and she still looks the same as she did but she's just a woman like I know where Chris is coming from like she's not physically changed that much apart from getting older if that kind of makes sense yeah yeah, and she's got distinctive features that have translated like the same perfectly to have been yeah. a, a grown up basically yeah yeah Okay, so now we've got to go and wham it up. Okay. Here goes <laughs> Which means, it's going, it means yeah. going up. It, it's, this is really annoying because you've got to go up those, both those two lifts again and back into that, like, this bit I room. hate. I really hate. There's just no point in this bit. Oh, oh, what? There is no point. This is literally extending the game for the sake of extending the game. Yeah. They could have just said the PAL key is one PAL key. Done. It's in. Like, there's no reason to do this. The last has gone, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You might as well just leg it. Does it matter at this point? Just leg it. Once you get over Metal Gear's head, there's no more guards to come and chase you, so just leg it. You also don't get any penalties at all, do you? Go? Oh, you can you can complete the game without it and get um, an extra. Yeah, you get a ranking at the end, which it's given how many alerts we've had. 
in the past couple of parts. Probably not going to be great. You can get a big boss ranking if you don't ever get any alerts. Yeah, I've never been. I've never went down for those though. I'll be honest. Even if, even if I was better at games, I don't think I'd be like that. It's 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 way too completionist for me. That I think. Yeah, I'm not good enough. The, oh my god, there was there's a big boss ranking or, or a ridiculous ranking in Metal Gear Solid 4, and it's something like complete the game in in two and a half hours with yep. no deaths, no alerts, yep. and it's like no on on the ultimate big boss setting. It's like <laughs> what? And I think you can't use any rations either. <laughs> it's like... I, I bet I bet you the speedruns doing it in, in hour I've and seen, a half. I've watched the speedrun that course, did it, and yeah. it was impressive. But it's still like what? Yeah. In fact, when I when I finish watching this, I'm gonna watch a speedrun of this because now that I know what the game, what happens <laughs> in the game, I can watch a speed. I don't like watching speedruns of games that I've not played because you can't enjoy them. You don't know what you don't know what it is to do, and it's clever. Yeah, and that's so true. You've got some experience of the game already. Yeah, so don't yeah, fucking judge legend... me once you do that. <laughs> so only ju only God can judge me. But there's some speedruns that just crazy. There's a Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time one where he goes to get the first sword. Just basically runs into the corner of Kakiri Forest a bit and skips to Ganondorf, and you're like, "What the hell?" Well, you've seen that. Um, you've seen that Oblivion one, haven't you? Yeah, exactly. Those kind of things where you just skip over hundreds of hours of like, game. Is yeah, that... wasn't he jumping on uh, on paintbrushes or something? Like he kept putting a paintbrush down and jumping yeah, on it. Yeah, I think they can, you can use um, they use balls and buckets. You can use certain concave yeah. objects to walk, walk through walls. Was there enemies there that time? They were indeed. But you just ran past them, so it not matter. I think um, maybe this is the time when you can start killing the crows and get the weird conversation because you have to go up this lift again, don't you? So. I think it's whilst you're on the lift, though. I've got a feeling it's, you have to be on the lift for it to work. Um, Never happy. If, right? I'm talking out, if I'm talking out my ass, I apologise, but I have a vague recollection of this being. I'm never going to use a SOCOM again anyway, so I might as well just use all the ammo trying to kill these things. These innocent this, this, birds. this point of the game would piss me off, I've got to say. It is to pointless. To walk through all of the rest of the, the bits I've already done just feels really cheap. It almost feels like they're justifying the fact that you've had to do, go onto a second disc, because presumably the second disc is full of the cinematic at the end and all of the. Uh, the, the calls and stuff like that. There is also um, a big boss fight with a huge walking tank. That, and, that, and won't, that won't take up much fight. data. It's more, mostly cutscenes that'll be taking up all of the data on the disc. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. There we go. What's your call? I think you come. Your face, your ass. What's the difference? Okay, it's off. So what film's that from then? Uh, I, They're all quotes from films, aren't they? Um, what's okay, the so I don't know what that film that's from. It's got to be from a film. Yeah. Did you go and watch Day um, Live in the End, or have you still not seen it? I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, I highly recommend there's it. A, there's a I kind of, honestly, man, there's a ridiculous fist fight in it. It's utterly atrocious. Brilliant. It is, uh, you'll never have seen a fist fight as long, and when you think it's over, it's fucking not. <laughs> over and over it? and over again. It's like they're just laughing at each other by the end of it, aren't they? Target specific people. Do you remember the? Is it the fashion did the long big punch up? Just get right. It's just two blokes just hitting each other. So that basically, the, the fashion show did a sketch like the long big punch up, like a film, basically. Right. But it's just two blokes just just punching each other for ages and ages and ages. Decoy octopus die of something that. I'm be surprised if that's a homage to it. Well. Apparently, Someone told yeah. me. So they're ones. talking about Fox Die now. Which is something that what? Attack. What? Fox Die. Someone told you what? You're telling me that Naomi was behind it. Sorry, yeah. So they, they're talking about Fox Die. Um, basically, that the, the DARPA chief that died earlier um, wasn't the real DARPA chief. It was. I did they reveal this already by now? It was Decoy Octopus, the one member of Fox Out that you've not actually encountered, although you have. Um, I think we sort of talked over those cutscenes. Okay. Yeah. Basically, Fox Die is is a really big big part of the end of this game. Um, so their name has been placed under arrest because she's her backstory doesn't check out, and they're not sure what she's doing. She's basically injected Fox Die into Snake, and it's a virus that's killing off the members of Fox Sound that are coming into contact with it. So obviously, you kill Psycho Mantis and Raven and. Uh, the other one. You find out anything. 
stifle wolf. wolf. Uh, before it could kill, before it could kill them, but it killed the octopus and it killed Kenneth Baker, the Armstead president. You know who's the guy who was having the sort of danger wank when we were fighting the ninja? <laughs> that guy. All I can do is leave it up to the So yeah, I think it might be this lift, you know, because it's doing it again. It's lagging Maybe. like hell. I must have totally imagined the crows thing. There's definitely one in Battle Gear Solid 2 when you shoot the seagulls. Ah, <laughs> uh, are the Claymore mines back in here as well, possibly? Already doing it. Yeah, he was right about to stand on one as well. <laughs> Is that a ration? Do I need it? No. Nah. The only thing you need to be concerned about from this point on is, I think, yeah, rations. Um, Fucking cameras. And, yeah. I chaff, need a ration chaff, now. Chaff, Jesus Christ. Chaff grenades. And oh, I'm hovering over the, the hovering over the death counter, Chris. You shut your face. I think you know what you're doing, don't you? That's also quite a cool touch when you put the body armor on. Snake's model actually changes, and he's wearing body armor. Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't. Yeah, it's didn't a nice look. It the first time I saw it. Pretty, again, pretty commonplace these days, but back then you wouldn't really see that sort of stuff happen. No, Maybe I mean, yeah, that's change, change, but not a model change. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah, text change. Is that logo on the floor there? Something significant? I see. I feel like I've seen it elsewhere in the game. Uh, like triangle thing. Could be Arms Tech logo. Yeah, possibly. Is that the company that makes the Metal Gear or something? Oh, they make uh, it was a joint. It was a joint development <laughs> project between Arms Tech and DARPA, according to the game at the beginning. Right. So yeah, those were the two people that were developing it in secret yeah. in what was supposed to be a nuclear disposal facility, which is blatantly not. It's basically a Metal Gear development facility, which explains all of the steel. <laughs> Yes, actually, to be fair, there you go. Because we're now, because yeah. we're in, the, yeah, we're in the secret basement bit, aren't we? So yeah, they do need a lot of metal to make a metal gear. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon if you go, I think if you go to the steam room, Chris, which is yeah, I am going. One, there's no guards in there. Two, I think it heats up the key faster as well. <laughs> can't use a cardboard box because it'll melt. No, because you're lying fight. down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is this that the last, uh... Yeah, then once it's heated, then it's go back, put the power key in, and then big stuff happens. Yeah, we're, putting the we're... power key in is supposed to stop Metal Gear. Um, well, could, that's not quite how it coming up to the two-hour mark. Do you reckon we should just try and complete it tonight? Oh, get yeah, it, yeah. Get it over and done with. Yeah, yeah. There's no point doing, like, a half an hour episode where you're just doing the end boss. Okay, let's see how we get on with the because the Metal Gear fight's not too difficult. I think the liquid fight can be a bit tricky, but Yeah, it is. Ah, screw it. We can do it. We've got a got, a, got an audience now as well. It seems everyone wakes up at about eight o'clock <laughs> and joins the stream, so It's probably because they've had their tea and then start watching it. Hey, Thinking tell us guys, do you, we should we should we do these later for you? Do what later? Well, the, these ones are Metal Gear Solid ones. Should we, the streams, should we do these? Yeah. yeah, should we just do the streams later? Yeah, they um, tend to come on at least half an hour to an hour after we start, don't they? Yeah. Well, like seven till nine instead. Well, that's only half an hour later, isn't it? Um, I'd, I'd say maybe random. half seven, half seven till half nine or something like that. I'd... Yeah, I mean, I can do either. What do you think, I'm, guys? I'm good Everyone tonight. in the channel. Yay! Um, right, so wait, now I need a scarf. I don't like hell. <clears throat> well, not particularly, but you've got to basically, yeah, you've got to dilly dally. Let's put it that way. <laughs> dilly dally. Yes. I love your language, Sam. It's so old fashioned yet articulate and. My language is called English and. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean. I wish more. I wish more people that claim to speak it actually did. No, it's just that some of the words you use are just a little bit antiqui antiqu that word. antiquated. Antiquated. <laughs> antiquated. Uh, yeah, anti antiquated. Antiquated. Yeah. 
What are you looking at? Cat just looked at me. They do do that, don't they? They do, yeah. They do With look the at you. With soulless eyes. They always have that look, cats, where they sort of, they sort of look like they don't quite get what's going on. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> they sort of looks like they're confused. Yeah, people think the cats are clever, and they, I, they are anything but clever. Oh no, they're definitely they're the not. My stupid my, animals. My fry, he's an absolute idiot. <laughs> but you're he right. They're just, they're just constantly just, uh, especially when she's staring at me. She just looks like, like there's nothing going on behind those eyes at all. There is no thought processing going on. That's what makes them such great internet fodder because cats doing stuff is funny it's just because they did two silly things. Have you seen those videos where it's like cats being dicks where they're just walking along on shelves and just knocking stuff off shelves because yeah. why not? There's a game isn't oh. there? <laughs> there's a game just you can get play where you just have to be a cat. That I need. Oh, you didn't need it until you ran into the mines. I did. Sorry, Lou, what are you going to say then? There's, there's a game where you basically play it as a cat and all you got to do is be a dick and smash the, ro the house up. That's not there's out nothing... yet. It's, it's not out yet. I it's, know it's been made it's in a, Unity, isn't it? It's a Kickstarter and yeah, it looks... Yeah. It looks looks good fun, actually. It looks You just be a first-person cat game and you basically just whack things with your paws and rip things up and knock things off shelves and stuff. There's lots of videos as well of, um, of, of like, cat, like, look... <laughs> You know, when a cat and a dog are there, the dog's just sat there being a dog, just sat there just like not doing, just going, you know, they just sit there, don't they, dogs, and just chill out on the bed, and they don't care. And then the cat just sort of look at him, and then just hit it on the nose, and the dog will go mental, and the cat runs away, and you're like, well, what did you expect to happen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're funny creatures. Yeah, what whatever go is going on in this particular scene, the emulator does not like it. Do you know what? I've got a feeling it might... This might be the game, because I've, I've got a feeling it lags on the normal PlayStation version of this game as well, you know? Right. It's something to do with the crows flying around, like... It's too much going on. Yeah, it's too much going on for the old... <laughs> Overcrawl. Sorry, they're ravens, not crows. I don't want to get any, uh, any ornithologists out there on, enraged. <laughs> Snake, can you oh, it's look who Naomi. it is. Naomi. Bitch. Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the colonel says true? Is what the colonel says true? Are yes. you a but dirty lying bastard? He's gonna grab a drink while you be you? misogynistic. I don't know myself. I don't oh, know the really sad lay, music started again. Like. Uh, oh, there was a really funny. Um, you know the Metal Gear Awesome videos. Hmm. There's what there's, there's not. It wasn't done by Eager Raptor, but there was like a one done for Metal Gear Solid Four. And there's the bit where you're in Shadow of Moses and Naomi's there, like and she's all start. She's going, Snake, I dumped you. And she goes, Nobody cares. Let's go. Yeah, that's basically how I feel with Naomi, like all the time. What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965. So it's doing Rhodesia. Laborers around. Is she actually English? The person who does her voice. Isn't it Jennifer Hale who does Naomi's voice? Uh, is she English or uh, no. American? No, no I'm pretty sure Jennifer Hale is American. She doesn't well, sound particularly that. English. She sounds like she's a posh, you know, like a posh Amer like American trying to do a posh English accent. Canadian. Yeah. Well, same thing. <gasps> Although, to be fair, the character in the game isn't meant to be English either. She's putting an accent on, so maybe that works. Hmm. Stretching it a bit, maybe. Yeah, it's quite true, like... The, when me People, up, when Americans do river. English accents, I was half dead from they don't struggle to get right. Although, you know, I bet the same is true if you see them. And it, you know, someone like, um, you know, Jim McNulty in The Wire was played by an Englishman. Yeah. Um, I bet Americans probably spot that accent much better than we can. There's, there's that's one, not a real American accent. There's one that's done it really well. Um, have any of you seen um, A Knight's Tale? Yes. Yeah. Um, the ginger guy. He's an American, and he does a brilliant English accent. Um, I can't remember. I don't remember that. I remember, obviously, Heath Ledger was in it, and Paul Bettany was in it. Um, it's uh, Alan Tudyk. I was going to say, is it Alan Tudyk? Yeah, he's class, though, Alan Tudyk. He does an excellent English accent. Like a, a proper, it's not like the received pronunciation that you normally hear from Americans who do a British accent. It's like a, a common sort of 
almost sort of London accent that he does, and he does it brilliantly. He's um, Alan Tudyk's actually a really fantastic and underrated actor. Like he's been in a load of things that you've seen, but never as the star. Like he mm. played that weird pirate guy in Dodgeball. He's obviously yeah. Wash in uh, Firefly, which meant um, I've played... seen Firefly. I've heard good things about it. Uh, well, there's another there's another Joss Whedon show yes. called uh, Dollhouse, which I might have told you about, yeah. which is a really cool high concept thing, and he plays a character called Alpha in that. Um, he's one of those actors who's like always really entertaining, but he never seems to get the limelight sort of guy. Not exactly. So that doesn't surprise me that you can do a good English accent either. What about Liquid and the others? God, they're still going on. See, this is the thing, when you sit there, you're playing a game, you're invested in it, all this stuff you don't mind, but now for us here, it's like... Yeah. So she's talking about Frank Yeager, he's basically her adoptive brother. Um, and one of the reasons that she's doing all this Fox Die stuff is because she hates all the people that that worked on Frank Yeager and made him into the Cyborg Ninja. Because he's the Cyborg Ninja. He's one of Snake's like old friends and allies from back in the day. Who he obviously ended up fighting because that's what Snake does with all his friends. Ends up killing them, pretty much. <laughs> Snake's life is like WWE. Yeah, Snake's one of those guys where you're like, he's always trying to be a good guy, but all his friends end up betraying him, apart from Otacon, basically, and he ends up killing them. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how he's got so much patience with Otacon, I'll be honest with you. Because Otacon's never tried to kill him? <laughs> no, I mean, patience is in, just stop being a wet flannel, mate, honestly. Pull yeah. your pants up and... They respond grip. Pull your pants up and tie your shoelaces, Otacon, for goodness I, sake. I actually forgot that he, um, Drink your he milk. mentioned Otakus in this. Um, yeah, he does. Otakus or whatever you call them. Um, but he, he, I, I remember him mentioning them in 4, but I didn't realise he did it in this one. Do you yeah, deliberately goes, mispronounce every word, Chris? No, I don't deliberately do it. I... I... <sighs> How is it you find the the worst possible pronunciation of words, right. though? You've met my mother and my father, haven't you? Yeah. Right. So, you know, my dad can't spell or speak, pretty much. He's, 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 he's he has an inability to form a sentence sometimes. Um, and my mum, you know, neither of them are particularly uh, well... Your mum's quite um, articulate. Yeah, but she doesn't know how to spell or anything like that. And, and I still have a job to do. I, I don't know. I've always, I've, I've kind of, Listen, I can write Snake. things down and form sentences properly, but when it comes to my mouth, that's I'll where die. I let myself down. Lord. No. Your mouth's pretty good, I found. Oh, you can say you make up for a, thing, a lot of things with your mouth as well. Yeah. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> so, Mel, you Yes. Oh, more sad music. The real thing I need to stop. Yeah. Do you know what wouldn't, what wouldn't be so bad with all this dialogue? If, when it finished, you were at the top of the lift ready to go. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah. You probably still have to ride the lift. I'm going down the lift. You haven't been paying attention, have you? The lift. Well, uh, you've been going on lifts a lot. <laughs> yeah, I've got a feeling once the conversation's three, four, five, over, the, uh, the thingy's over. I think this is going to go on for quite a while if we do the end of the game because there's so much like, cutscenes and stuff. Yeah. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel. What should we do? Well, me. well how much longer There's is it gonna like is it gonna be playing for, no including cutscenes? I, I personally think from this point on there's at least another hour. Really? Yeah, probably. Because well, you gotta remember there's there's the there's the Metal Gear fight, which does even if you're good at it, it still takes a bit of time. Then there's loads of cutscenes, then there's the liquid snake punch up, then there's another I... bunch of cutscenes, then there's the chase on a motorbike, and then there's another more cutscenes, and then that's the end of the game, and then there's more good scenes. So yeah. it's just like I reckon there's we just put a lot this key of story in, stuff. Or be, just before I put the key in, I'll uh, we'll, yeah, we'll get we'll up to the top it. of the route and then stop there, and then start with putting the key in, and then the, the Metal Gear fight. By the way, the guys in this room, if they're in the same positions as they were, I just ran straight down the centre and didn't get seen by any of them. Like that. Yep, just like that. That's. <laughs> That's an elite stealth operative right there. Do you know? Do you know what guards should guard? The fucking doors. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. they're the only places people are going to be moving in and out of. Yep. Yep. That is so. No. Air vents. <laughs> <laughs> yes! you know, do you know why I do that? All right. I know it's the second time I've done that, but I did that because I 
I pressed the wrong button, and it was a punch button instead of like. That's why Chris punched those holes. No, I pressed. The, I, I had a chafe grenade. I was just about to throw it. <laughs> Nearly did it exactly the same thing again. All coming the side. Yeah, I was going to say you can go. in the middle side. anyway, you bloody fool. Don't call me a bloody fool. You <laughs> massive <laughs> spastic. <laughs> If you don't have chaff grenades, is there any other way you can get past all them turrets? Run. You can use, you can shoot them with stinger missiles if you oh, want. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. So there's no way you can, like, hack them or power them down or... No, no, there's no hacking in Metal Gear. Right. No, he's not that kind of, He's an intellectual, he's but he's not that kind of intellectual. Snakes? Yeah, that snakes. That run is that really mincing. Fuck computers, man. That's Look at his little... He's like a little rat run. He needs a tail. Should be like a piano going. Dig -a -dig -a -dig -a -dig -a. Right, until until <laughs> you're shoved <laughs> into a, until you're shoved into a sneaking suit and sent to Alaska, why don't you shut the fuck up? I'm wearing my sneaking <laughs> suit right now. I'm in Alaska. Can you hear now? me? Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> I can hear you voice. from here. I could take my headphones off and I can still hear you. Oh my god! <laughs> Just kicking the ladders. It's the same button to climb ladders. Fucking <laughs> stop laughing at me! But you have to be the exact right. You got. You said you have to be on the right. You pixel know what? You know what would be work. more entertaining than me playing it? I think. I think next time we do something like this, we need to have one of us that really does not like a particular game to play it. Yeah. <laughs> let's and, call it, call it, Should we call it? Let's not play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's quite a good idea. I'm trying to think of what game I really don't want to play. Oh, don't. I don't really want to play Metal Gear Solid. I don't really want to play. <laughs> I, I'm sure you could think of lots of games that I really wouldn't want to play. Yeah. Like, if you made me play FIFA 15 or something like oh, that, God, I, I yeah, wouldn't play I was that it, it wouldn't be entertaining. It's yeah, got to be a game that at least one of us likes, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's got to be like, this would be perfect for, for someone like Lou to play, who would hopefully stop judging if he even got a chance to go through it. I wonder how I many times you'd die. Is this for entertainment or is this for your catharsis, Both. Chris? <laughs> Cathartic <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. I'll, I'll be up that. I'll try to make that into, a word, into one word. Ed Carth. No, that's not going to happen. Carth Entertainment. Carth Entertainment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy to do that. I, I don't know how practical it is if we can. Can we actually do that? Uh, not, no. Not without you <laughs> streaming it. And you've got a lower, a shitter internet connection than me, so I imagine. Yeah, I've only got 60 just, meg. Just I go imagine it'll be even more difficult. Week. Um, you could do it on an emulator, but as I said, the other games I wanted to play on HD anyway. However, there's plenty of other games that we could do that kind of thing with. Yeah. It's probably a good point to uh, F1 it, is it? Right. I just F1'd it. <laughs> right, everyone. Sorry for uh, cutting off. I think we've just had a lot of people join and we're just about to finish. Uh, we've been going for two hours, about. Yep. And we think we're just about to get to the uh, Metal Gear <coughs> fight. Then it's a million yep. cutscenes, and then it's uh, another fight. Liquid fight, I believe. Yep. And then another million cutscenes, and then it's a motorcycle, ch motorcycle chase. And then... Well, that's the end. Yeah, and then there's another million cutscenes at the end. <laughs> Or at least one big long one. And long and Chris, credits. Long Chris credits. only died yeah. twice in this game. Yes. That's that's impressive. So what's the death it's count now then? Twenty. Twenty. And the, the, to be fair, one of them was a idiot mistake just now. Uh, Twenty of them were idiot mistakes, Chris. <laughs> it's so judgmental. It's so judgmental. Got the point now. I am not. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna find a game that you're you're gonna embarrass yourself on, and I'm okay. gonna make you donate to charity every time you die. <laughs> Are you gonna make me do that? Well, I'm gonna announce it on the stream, and if we don't, okay. if you don't okay. do it, then yeah. Okay. Wouldn't yeah. it be better if you had to do it? What? Since to I donate. Well, actually, you know, you're playing a game that you like, aren't you? And you're dying. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm If we, if we get you playing Surgeon Simulator or something for 20 hours straight, and how many times you fail <laughs> is how many times you have to donate. It's got to be something entertaining. I mean, if anyone's got any any uh, suggestions, I know that the people on the stream don't know the types of games that I like and dislike, but maybe there's do some... You, um, games. 
Well, you're not into Nintendo, so how about some sort of Nintendo game? He doesn't have any. Well, you can do it on an emulator, though, can't you? I've got a, I've got a Wii downstairs, but it's not mine. You could do uh, the Twilight Princess. Is that yeah. Zelda? Yeah. 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 And it's a great game. I too. don't think awesome you'd die game. that much on that, though. I think it's... you'd die a hell of a lot of times. Really? In the combat, definitely. It's not something ah, you've got to a play. good point, actually, yeah. Oh, and he'd be playing it with the nunchuck yeah, as exactly. well, won't he? It is quite hard to master, but once you get it, it's really satisfying to play, I think. You could give that a go, I reckon. Have you got yeah. the... Have you, have either of you got Twilight Princess? I've got it, yeah. You've got the extra yeah, one yeah. you need. Do you have to, do you have to uh, pay to play online? No. On Nintendo? No. You don't play online? You well, play how this? are we going to do it? Not on Zelda, <coughs> you don't stream. have to play it. Out of the Wii and do it as a video in to your graphics card. I don't, I don't uh, have no, a video no, well, in. Let's talk about this outside the uh, stream because it's <laughs> completely irrelevant. Anyway, thanks everybody for <laughs> Baldur's Gate, apparently. Baldur's Gate. I've always wanted to play that. I, I, I have as well, but it's really old now, isn't it? It's like ancient old. There's a HD remake, isn't there? There's yeah. a remake on Steam. Is it, uh, is it older is than it? Metal Gear Solid? What? That? Sorry? Sorry? Is it older than Metal Gear Solid? Baldur's Gate. Gate. Yeah, Definitely. it's 90s. Uh, it's early 90s, I think, the first one. Is it? All right, okay. Possibly, yeah. I think, actually, no, actually, it'll be, it'll be mid to late 90s, the Baldur's Gate series. That's what Metal Gear Solid is. I'm yeah, saying it's, it's not, it's not that much... Yeah, so not that much older than the game we're playing right now, if I'm playing. 1998. Oh, there you go. Same year. That's, uh, that's newer than Quake 2. <gasps> wow. Right, okay. Shut up. Right. Anyway, we've saved and I've saved the state and everything else. So um, we're going to finish the stream now. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, we're back on Wednesday, 6.30 UK, GMPM, BST, whatever it's called. Um, GMT. GMT. And on Friday, we're either going to stream a pre-recorded show or not stream at all because uh, Friday's streams are proving to be bit of a nightmare for my PC yeah. at the moment. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not around on Friday anyway, so... Oh, right, okay, so we might not be streaming unless Steve fancies doing some... Or Sam, maybe fancies doing some um, on PS3? If we, can uh, find a co if we can find a co-op game that's interesting to watch. I was playing now. Far Cry 3 recently, because I've watched you guys playing it, I was like, God, this game's awesome, in it? And I started playing it again. <laughs> yeah, but I haven't got that on PS3, and I'm not going to go out and buy it, I'm afraid. Uh, we can discuss that later, I guess. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, we'll... Uh, but, yeah, anyway, thanks for everyone who's watched. We've had a fairly decent audience today, and uh, I said I've only died twice, so it's only two pounds out of Lou's pocket. But Listen to the smugness in his voice. We've got, a, we've got another... I, I'd died a lot more if I had the options and the choices to, to do it. Anyway, <laughs> right. Catch you later, everyone. Um, see you later. Out on YouTube and everything right, bye -bye. else. And we'll see you later.